Good morning. How is everyone doing today? It is Monday. Wait one second. I think my microphone's a tad too high. Give me a second. How are we all doing today? I've got some interesting content to watch for you with you today, guys. How are you doing, Terrace? How are you doing, Phil? How are you doing, Matt? Before you ask. Yes, my Spotify is still doing the whole stop start thing, but we're on YouTube now. Just fuck it. <laughs> why bother? Why bother with Spotify if it keeps breaking and Spotify pauses anyway? I, you need to make get those meetings out of the way. But if you really want to, make sure you keep me up in the background, Terrace. You know what? You know. You know what? Today's gonna be a fun day. I've got an interesting video to watch with you guys that I think is going to be quite fun. Phil, be aware that if you really want to do that, you need about 20 PCs all running around the clock to be able to get anything out of it. Spending 200 quid this month on a few on a new wallet and a new phone case because i'm a fucking idiot matt i'm not here to judge i'm not here to judge okay i mean it's worth it yeah it's worth it. bitcoin mining is worth it in the long run i i I'm just gonna let's switch over to the chatting screen, shall we? Hi guys, how are we all doing today? It is Monday, the uh, 25th. Is a day today. How are we all doing? I'm sorry, I haven't streamed much to this month. I have been sick. I'm gonna say it now. I'm gonna. I've been sick with what I call testosterone poisoning. Shit's toxic. Okay. <laughs> I have to fix my face as well. I'm sorry. <laughs> but have I got something fun to watch with you guys? <laughs> this is going to be a fun day. We will be doing some VR chat. Do not worry. We will do some VR chat. Do not worry about that. I've got something planned that I really, really want to watch with you guys. And I even asked the creator for some for uh, permission to, to react to it. You know what they said? Go for it. The more eyes on this shit, the better. YouTube has a problem, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. As the individual said, wallets. I, YouTube has a problem, wallets and dishwashers. We have a problem with YouTube. And guess what it is? It's the copyright system. 
YouTube has a problem with the copyright system. Can you believe it? God, shock, horror. It's almost like companies like CBS and other companies are trying to bully people out of bad opinions and bad thoughts. If you want to deep dive into that shit, yes, it's the thing. Well, I've seen how Bitcoins are worth and I may... I can make this much profit off of it and buy anything in the world. Phil, top advice. Take your current PC, let it Bitcoin mine for a day and see how much money you get out of it and then decide if you want to put more money into it. If it can cover its cost, that's all you're going to get. You're going to break even. If you can get it so it doesn't cover its cost, if it if you can make have it make a profit, and then, yeah, then go... go Go, go decide into it. So I've got something planned. You know what? I'm trying to get into doing this thing where I plan out my content. Uh, wait, is that about the destiny thing? Uh, the thing, okay. Angry Joe show. The Angry Joe show, right? The, the icon that is movie and game reviews on YouTube. The angry guy called Joe. Go figure, is currently being copyright claimed to high fuck by the people behind the Halo TV series on HBO or something. CBS or something, I can't fucking remember. Doesn't YouTube have a headquarters? YouTube does have a headquarters. However, the problem with YouTube right now is not YouTube itself. I mean, it kind of is. The issue with YouTube at the moment is a thing called copyright abusers. And we have a fun video today about one of the worst on the platform. Namely, this name is probably gonna get me flagged on YouTube because this will be going up on YouTube. This asshat, this prima donna prick has been copyright abusing any channel which reviews his content. And as you guys know, YouTube, YouTubers, we have a uniform, we have a universal agreement. It is a silent agreement when you join the platform. Don't copyright strike. Do not DMCA take down other creators for watching your shit. Unless said individuals are quite literally downloading and re-uploading your content. That is the foundational agreement. Because YouTube is what we call a safe harbor website. If you do not know what that means, it means you are free to critique, feedback, and review things. Did you know that? It's called Safe Harbor. Safe Harbor has been around since 1998, I think, under the under the DMCA copyright system, which was introduced in 1998. Yeah, something along those lines. I can't 100% remember. I'm from the UK. We don't do American law here. Oh, this is, uh, this is dialed in to some one ass hat. Well, technically it's two, but one of them is prolific and has been doing it for a while. But we have so many things to talk about on this. It's going to be a fun hour or so. That's all I'm going to say. It's going to be an hour. I will be editing this to go to my main channel. And before we get started, I like to say this because I want to do a little YouTube intro because this is... This is, uh, this is what you do. If you like what you're about to see or want to help support this, I strongly advise you go and subscribe to someone called Mischief. This is the big fuck you were giving to this dude. I will put, yes, I will put his link in the, in, uh, the YouTube videos. I'm going to make popcorn. If you want to go and I strongly suggest right now, if you are interested in watching this and you don't want to miss a beat of me reacting to this, I've already seen it, but I'm really to react to it again because it's fucking great. I strongly advise you go get yourself some food, get yourself a nice little snack, get yourself something to drink. Just go get yourself something to drink because this is a rabbit hole you guys are going to fucking enjoy because it is fucked up. 
And it all started with a game called Elden Ring. I will either catch this in the VOD or YouTube. I have to dive into a meeting now for the next hour. Okay, Terrace, have a fun day. I will see you later, probably in, on, on, in, on, in the Discord, okay? But this shit, this shit is wild. I need to go close my curtains so my VTubing shit doesn't go haywire. I need a new desk. I have a new bed coming soon. Okay, back in a second. Why is everything okay? My 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 Go XLR app just randomly shut on me. I don't know what's going on. I I'm I'm back with my mod mic. Let's go. Thank you, mod mic, for being such a supporter. Link in the description below. Okay, so it's showing this, but it's not broadcasting anything. What the fuck is going on? I can't hear or see anything. Let's go. I will fix this, and then we're going it. Thank you for the twenty-four months, Buzzkill. I really appreciate it. Where's the Go? The Go XLR app just randomly just went, no, thank you. Here's the thing, I think I will, I, top tip, always take your fucking headphones off when you walk away from your desk. Hello? Hello? Testing, testing. Oh, I hear things! Oh, now we're back to not hearing anything. That's why it's turned itself back on now. Can you hear me? Hello? Is it not? What the fuck is going on? Guys, I think Quantum doesn't want us to watch this video. He doesn't want eyes on it. Why? No, go. What is this shit? Go away. Stupid. I'm sorry for the ink and fucking venience. It worked for a second. Hello? Hello? What the fuck is going on? I swear. I did not plan this. Are we back? Hello? I'm gonna keep the music rolling. Technical difficulties. This is my fucking audio software decided to nope. Where is it? Oh, there it is. It's just outright stop working. Hello? Hello, sir? Hello? Are you working? Oh my fucking god, the software's just outright taking a dump. What the fuck? It's just stopped working. Hello? Oh my god. What the fuck? At least you guys can hear me. Thank you, Bot Mike, and go uh, uh, and and stuff for supporting the stream. If you haven't yet, go check them out. They've got some What is going on? Hello? The software's just out. It's refusing to do anything. What the fuck? Hello? I say technical difficulties. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Wait. Wait. 
My fucking VTubing software has just... Cancel. Discard. This isn't technical difficulties. This is just a catastrophe. Oh my god, it's taken out my fuck. Mm, what the fuck is going on? My VTubing software is just... And we're back! What the fuck? What the hell? Okay, so we're back. Hello, hello, we're back. Has everyone got their popcorn? I don't know what the fuck happened. Everything just paused on me. I'm gonna say Quantum tried to cut down the stream. We're gonna... You will see why I'm saying that. You will see why. You will see fucking why. Just get some white. Ooh, it's been so long. Hi, Nico! <laughs> I'm sorry for the technical difficulties. I've been sick for like a month. Are we ready? Are we ready to see what the shit show is happening on YouTube right now? You got pizza? You got pizza? I... I, I got nothing. <laughs> I'm fine. I just tried to fix everything. <laughs> Hi, Bella! Hi Bella, how you doing? This is just wild. <laughs> just... Thank you Buzzkill again for the 24 months, I really do appreciate that. This month, so, okay, between now and the end of the month, I will be going into VR chat a bit later. Just so you know, I will be going into VR chat after we watch this. Um, I literally just want to show you guys what's going on. When do I not, Katie? This is true. Pizza good. <laughs> Are you guys ready for this? Are you guys ready for this? So I'm gonna literally switch over to my gaming screen because I want you guys to see this in all of its glory. Introducing the one, the only, the incredible act man. If you guys are unaware, YouTube is currently going through this uh, huge bullshit phase of um, copyright abusers getting called out on their shit, right? The act man is currently being having a DMCA takedown happen on him due to one individual on a video he has done. And now he is exposing all of his shit and I've got extra sauce on top of all of this. Let's go. Exposing everyone left and right. Here's the thing. Copyright abuse on YouTube is a fucking problem. People DMCA taking down people because they don't like your thoughts and opinion. Here's the thing. Freedom of speech is an actual thing. Freedom of opinion is an actual thing. I'm going to fucking say this now. Freedom of speech and freedom to say as you please does not exempt you from the fucking consequences of your goddamn fucking actions. If you have a hot take... You've got to deal with people going, yeah, that's a bad take. Don't fucking say that, you piece of shit. And you know what you do? You take the L, you apologize, you take the L, and you move the actual fuck on, okay? Now, here's the thing. I haven't talked to him, I haven't talked to Atman directly, but I had some passing conversation with him. Dude is an actual lovely fucking guy. He said some shit in the past, he's apologized for it. He's moved on. He grew up. He's big boy now. But this is where things get fucking interesting. This is a half an hour video. I will be put, stop, stop stopping it to so react to it. But guys, this is really big. This is, this is, this shit on YouTube right now is probably the most interesting drama you're going to come across. Apart from maybe the Johnny Depp shit going on. I'm not going to react to that. But you guys need to be aware. I do not condone violence. I do not... I, I Before we get started, please do not go out of your way to harass this individual. Apparently, according to him, because there is another thing from last year, this rabbit hole gets deeper every day. <laughs> This rabbit hole gets so deep every day. This individual is a bit prone to thinking that every form of comment is a hate form of hate speech. 
but at least Act Man doesn't buy his comments and views. Now, before we get started, I want to say this. This video is... In this video abides by YouTube's copyright system and is a form of transformative content. If Quantum wants to try and DMCA take me down, go for it. If you want ammunition to use against me, I am trans, I'm overweight, I still live with my family because housing prices in the UK are shit. I'm giving you guys ammunition, just so you know. I am transgender. I'm overweight. I still live with my dad. I have done porn in the past. I acknowledge all of these things. But guess what? I've grown up. I've moved past them. I'm a big girl now. Are we ready for this? Are we ready? Let's go. Let's go. Hi, everyone. I'm the Act Attorney here. What a pleasure it is to meet all of you today. I am so thrilled and excited. Today, we're going to be talking about copyright abuse and why filing false copyright take counts is considered perjury, which is a crime under U.S. law section 512F of the DMCA. How's that for an intro? That is actually a fucking great intro. That's how you get shit on the fucking table. You know shit is getting heated when he starts off with legal statements. Dude's got legs to fucking stand on. Let's go. <laughs> Never gonna be doing something like that again. You guys literally sound like, like. Abuse victims, right? So I would say this game is for somebody. They have no family, Bye, bitch. no friends, Bye, bitch. no life. Bye, bitch. Okay, before we get started, this piece of work right here is Quantum TV. This all started with a fun little game I absolutely fucking adore called Elden Ring. He gave a hot take. Some people gave him some shit about it. And he's just milked this cow so dry, dust mites are coming out of it. This dude is a piece of fucking work. And here's the thing. This rabbit hole is 40 seconds in. We've got 30 odd minutes left. I'm not sorry. I don't like Elden Ring players. They're nasty people. The players are losers. And you want to literally just start rolling with all these claims and accusations. Literally living up to every gamer stereotype that you could possibly imagine. And you want to literally prove my point by being that literally loser. You're, you're literally like a shut-in loser, loser that like does this. And these people are literally like, bro, like they are literally scumbags. They Like literally the textbook definition of like a bad human being. Like, you know, you want to sit there and you want to act like I'm some bad human being. You can get bent, dude. Look at you. Literally, look at what you're doing. Oh, here's the thing. This rabbit hole. This rabbit hole gets so deep. This piece of shit has said things. I cannot fucking say on this platform. Do you want to know why? Because I will get told off for it by YouTube. Delayed for 300 hours. I just beat Elden Ring. I beat Elden I Do you want to know how many hours? Elden Ring. Okay, here's the thing. Elden Ring is my first Souls-like game. First Souls-like game. It took me 90 hours to do my first playthrough. I'm currently 120 hours in. I just beat it for a second fucking time. I'm going for a third time. Best game. Love it. I do not like the... PvP stuff, that's just my thing. I like PvE. I can't wait for them to add more bosses in. Or make it so you can go off and do them in different ways. It's so fun. It's such a good game. It's so in fucking enjoyable. Maybe that's why you don't have F's a in chat. Maybe that's why your kids aren't around. Because maybe there's something wrong with you. At the end of the day, go kill yourself. Because maybe there's something wrong with you. that's not for everyone isn't the game that should be made about. Maybe there's something wrong with you. Maybe there's something wrong with you. There's something wrong with you. Maybe there's something wrong with you. Literally look at what you're doing. Maybe there's something wrong with you. All right, I'm recording this after the fact just to give a fair warning. A lot of the stuff I'll be showing and reading in this video is pretty offensive. 
none of it comes from me, and trust me, it all has a point. So here we are. You take the blue pill, you click off this video, go to bed, wake up, everything's the same. You take the red pill, and I show you just how deep the rabbit hole goes. That applies to you guys as well. If you do not want to watch this rabbit hole, then I su suggest you go click away. I suggest Ham Cow, my amazing boyfriend. If you wanna, if you wanna, if you wanna get away from this level of drama, then I suggest you click away right now. But this rabbit hole is deep, so deep. I've even got extra shit I want to add on top of it. This is like, it's fun. Court is now in session. A false copyright strike and takedown request. Uh, was recently filed against my channel. Take a guess by who? Matt Haas. Nope. Derek Savage. Nope. Quantum TV. You guys want to have your fun with Quantum TV? Have your fun at this point. I mean, I'm kind of amused by this. I'm not gonna lie. So you think it's funny? The star of my Elden. This guy's ego is so bruised at this point. I I'm sorry. You couldn't. You can see it in his face. You can see it in his face. Watch, watch his face, right? Watch his face. Watch his face. Look what happens to his face. Boy, I mean, I'm kind of amused by this. Look at his face. Look how bruised his ego is right now. I'm not gonna lie. That is him. Him looking off into that direction is him lying. That's the thing. I have done a good amount of education within, uh, uh, within psychology. I am not a psychiatrist. I just know the human brain and how people work. I am what they call a fucking empath. And this guy's ego is so bruised. You can see the pain in his eyes that he knows he is fucking losing. And that's the bit which I find so hilarious right now. You think it's funny? The star of my Elden Ring hot takes video. If you haven't Go watch it, it by the way. In the description. I will uh, also link it. Going Don't worry. Remain public and it will remain public forever. So since what is his name here? The Act Man? Never heard of And look at what he's pulling. Look at what he's pulling. Ready? Forever. So since what is his name here? The Act Man? Never heard of you and we're going to- He's pulling the whole- Ah, oh, never heard of you. You're clearly not famous like I am. I'm like, dude, the fuck? Act Man got to where he is through hard work and knowing what he's doing. You brought- You have bought your viewership and there is actual fucking evidence of it because you did it on your old account i got banned he didn't purchase his size he earned it to go over your so-called hot takes which contains a lot of stolen footage and, no which by the way i'll look into my options around getting that taken down any further attempts to falsely copyright strike my channel will be met with a counter lawsuit in which I will clean you out. When you start talking fair use, you are opening a legal battle because you're telling the copyright owner, fuck you, I can do what I want. 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 I've also been updating fans curious about this because it is a big deal, but follow me on Twitter. I've been posting stuff and details there. This has gotten so far out of control. I have no choice but to unleash my true power as the act attorney. Yes. And although I have no legal authority as a lawyer. That's the end of that sentence. If you're- I, 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 I'm sorry. I'm just paying so much attention to what's going on in this background. You see those things to right above my head right there? You see? It's a gold plaque with a silver one above it. Do you know what that means? YouTube has acknowledged that he has in fact got a million subscribers. And in the past have a, has acknowledged, dude, you got 100K. Where's your plaques, Quantum? Where's yours? Curious about how copyright enforcement works on YouTube. 
uh, Mudahar made a great video. Really good video, by the way. Go watch it. up the ramifications and what is actually at stake. Again, once you file this claim, somebody else can counterclaim you and then it becomes a legal issue. If it turns out that you're actually abusing this for, for your own benefit, just to hide criticism, and you've actually taken down legally fair use content, this bites you on your ass. Yep. This is not authorized by the copyright owner, its agent, or the law. Yep. And this is the bit which I don't think he understands. I have a... Here's the thing. I'm dyslexic, but when it comes to anything legal, I will read through that thing about three or four times to make sure I understand what the fuck I'm typing in, signing, whatever. What's your excuse, by the way? The law, okay? That includes fair use dealings. Yes. Fair use law. If you were to take this video to a fucking courtroom, the judge would say, this is fair use. Okay? Hi, Charles. Because even though fair use is a gray area. You know, normally reacting or commentating on someone else's video as part of a critique falls under fair use. And generally it does indeed. speaking, as does this. Pretty much everyone on this platform understands that. Uh, because if we didn't, then we would just be taking down other people's videos that we don't like all the time. Mm -hmm. So while editing the hot takes video, I made sure to edit as much of the original Quantum TV clips as I could. That's why I am very confident that what you guys do in your takedown journalism of other YouTubers and other creators is not only not fair use, but it's YouTube's text. There is a cop. Okay, Charles, to get you round up, there is a copyright abuser, namely the guy in the podium right now who is copyright abusing smaller channels or past tense they were smaller channels dude's now sitting on 100k about 20 30k above this dude but this dude is basically a copyright abuse abuser and he's been going around doing stream hot takes on people let's just say this started with a video game that i love i actually really really enjoy it it started with elden ring and uh, the rabbit hole's gone deep. And he seems to think it's still about Elden Ring. I'm going to tell you this now. This is not about Elden Ring. This is about integrity of the platform. Imagine having such a bad take on a video game. You get your entire account taken down. <laughs> definition of cyberbullying and harassment. No. Nope. What I posted was fair use. Yep. And YouTube agrees with me, which is why they rejected the copyright takedown. Now keep in mind in this legal document, not only is it false, but he didn't even bother to fill it out properly. The link to his video is missing and he wrote the wrong title for the videos he was claiming. I have the original titles here. I will put yep. them on screen. Mm. If you send a- Wow. It's almost like he's done this so many times he can no longer be bothered to prove his evidence and he's using it just as a bullet to say, get your video down, it says bad shit about me. Surprising, isn't it? A DMCA takedown notice that is both false and meant in bad faith, such as to harass or doesn't state a real claim, you have committed perjury. Y yes, along with at this point, slander. It was it slander, libel, perjury, so many things. He's committed so many legal things, illegal things, which is just like laughable. And he's going, "Oh, they're cyberbullying me." I'm like, "This isn't cyberbullying. This is, this is one dude's actions having ramifications and him not owning up to them." That's what all this is about. It's about owning up to your mistakes, apologizing and moving forward and not abusing a system which genuinely is designed to fuck over the poorer party. Now, here's the thing I want to say before moving forward, because this is definitely making it to YouTube. If you want to come at me in a legal way, I will fucking piggyback on Actman's fucking legal case and get you fucking taken down. You want to come at me? I gave you ammunition earlier. I do not care about your thoughts against me. I am a human being. I have feelings. Yes. Take that! You posted these to YouTube. You can't file false claims and lie in the claim. You absolute moron.
You can't you can't beat the act attorney, man. I, I played all the ace attorney games. I played them all. In my last video, I said this. It's like a rabbit hole we don't even want to go down. Unfortunately, now it is, and it's to. here's the thing. He hasn't in this video, he doesn't even cover it. He doesn't even cover all of the shit that's going on. I have extra things that have popped up since this video, and they make it so much more juicy. Some people might ask, well, why are you making this video? Why are you giving him exposure? Uh, I understand your concerns, but this affects the entire YouTube platform. And it By does. The way, he's not gaining much of a following or viewership from all. Funny point. Here's the bit which I find very interesting. Notice how his subscriber growth day after day is exactly 100. Saturday. 100 monday 100 wednesday 100 friday 100 saturday 100 monday 100 wednesday 100 i'm noticing a little bit of a pattern here aren't you notice how tuesday no growth tuesday no growth and here's the thing my youtube channel i get consistent growth i get it but it's never a less consistent. It is never this consistent. Is someone buying subscribers? I think someone's buying subscribers. Don't you? All of this controversy and my end goal is the termination of his YouTube channel for routinely abusing copyright <laughs> violating terms of service and the YouTube community guidelines. All of this that is outlined, I'm going to show you evidence of how Quantum TV has violated all of it. But let's start at the beginning. Amazing. Let's give a shout out to Mischief. And there are all these people saying that I falsely attacked some young kid. Everybody loves to put his age out. The moment I mention it, why are you so obsessed with his age? I don't care he's a minor, leave it alone. For some reason, he's really obsessed with the age of mischief. Like nobody gives a shit about his age. He's being a piece of garbage. People like mischief, who apparently is a young child. Maybe mischief's mother might want to get in on this. What? All the negative press you've seen on me is because I reviewed a game once. Uh, please be aware as well that this individual, after this video, put out a bit, another video and is uh, threatened to dox everyone involved and threatened to hurt their family. Please be aware that the shit got leveled up after this video in a way which it never fucking should have, but has, because this dude is mentally ill. Notice how his eyes are leaning to the left when he's speaking. It means he's bullshitting. It means he is lying. He is fabricating evidence in his head right now. His head right now is on overdrive trying to figure out what to say because he is lying. Once didn't like it. Some 16 year old kid picked it up. This is said 16 year old. 16 year old, 17 year old kid from the UK. Mischief, the 16 year old kid. You're not some young 16 year old kid on the internet. It was a 16 year old. Be aware that this man is also like in his 30s. Kid. This kid. He's a 16 year old. There's a 16 year old kid. Some 16 year old. 16 year old. 16 year old kid on the. Mischief is the chief orchestrator behind this entire thing. This is all about mischief. Who's orchestrating this? Who's running to every YouTuber he can? And again, it's always orchestrated by this one little shit. He is whining and lying to everyone he can. I mean, I'm so fucking tired of this little kid. I swear I can't to God. Even with this motherfucker right all now. All this started because of some 16 year old kid. This one little shit mischief and the thing that really gets me the most annoyed is it all started with mischief like nobody gives a shit about his age quantum tv is right this all started with mischief he uploaded a video critiquing quantum's first review of elden ring the man was not pleased notice how he said critiquing not outright attacking not insulting critiquing 
Phantom TV is the exact type of channel which means you consistently have to sit back and ponder the question, what the actual fuck is wrong with this man? Even though he himself is more than happy to poor shame people in now deleted replies to my community posts, I want to clear up one or two things regarding why I myself took down the video initially. First of all, at the time I simply said to myself, fuck this, I'll deal with it later and so took it down. So Mischief took his video down because he didn't want to deal with that and Quantum celebrated his victory and retract his claim. You steal videos and you, you, you lie through your fucking teeth. This guy is going around to every YouTuber he can fucking find saying, He's saying I'm violating YouTube's terms of service and he's bullying me. He's playing the fucking victim. Let me let me put this on the screen for every motherfucker right now that needs to see this shit. This little turd literally pulled his own video. It was yeah, because he probably doesn't want to get a fucking copyright strike. But the damage and intent was made apparent to the rest of us because we all understand the yep. gravity of using copyright against other content creators. Yep. This is something that will naturally draw people's attention, especially if it is being being abused. This is all about mischief who's orchestrating this, who's running to every YouTuber he can. Objection! Mr. TV, I'm afraid I must expose your ignorance. For you see, mischief never orchestrated any attack against you. Take a look at this screenshot. Would you would you kindly take a look at this screenshot? I'm gonna read this out for you guys. You literally stole my video footage with an illegal video. I oh, wait, no, that's not what I wanted to read. Wouldn't recommend making a video on this on that quantum guy. The guy's already threatening me with a false DMCA strike. Had to private the video because of it. Not trying to deal with another illegal copyright strike. The last one from Born Two Games was a pain in the ass. The fuck. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend making a video on that quantum guy. He has openly discouraging people making content on this guy. That's how much of a hassle all of this has been. I mean, sure, the dude's channel has blown the fuck up because of all of this, but at the end of the day, it's not because of what you think. It's literally just one dude abusing the system. Well, Mr. TV, care to explain how Mischief could be orchestrating a cyberbullying campaign against you at the same time he's telling the rest of us not to go after you? Because I would love to hear an explanation. Or do I smell a contradiction? <laughs> You're only blaming Mischief for all of this because he made the first video. This has all been a facade to silence criticism about you. You have it backwards. Mischief didn't reach out to me. I reached out to him. As you can see in these DMs here. Make no mistake, Quantum, your takes were so bad. They were, they were the worst I've ever seen. But you are the only one responsible for escalating this situation. You used your platform, your standing to routinely harass mischief. I mean, I'm so fucking tired of this little kid. You see, I do have some faults with Elden Ring. The performance on PC is a bit dog shit. The online is very unbalanced at times. Um... In the sit some of the bosses tend to act a bit weirdly. Like when you spawn in with Melania first time, she's hyper aggressive and basically on your ass before you get to do anything. Um Yeah, there's some mechanical bullshit in there, but at the end of the day, it's still a great game. I get if you don't like it, but when you literally just turn around and insult not only the development team and all of that. You kind of, uh, it, here's the thing, there's critiquing and there's giving feedback. If you're basically going out of your way to just insult something because you don't like it, when you're not even out of the fucking tutorial, you've got something wrong with your head. If you have never played a game that you've played, my personal opinion, do not, do not review a game you haven't finished. Wait for you to get to 20 hours at least with Elden Ring, with a big ass game like Elden Ring, get to 20 hours minimum before you decide to go, I'm going to make a review on this. Finish it first or 20 hours. That's my opinion when it comes to game reviews. You either do it or you don't. If you just turn around and jump the gun and go, this game's trash. My dude is still in a tutorial. 
You haven't even gotten through the fucking tutorial. You literally just went, I just spawned in and ran to the first boss, Margaret, something or other, and they killed me. They kept killing me. I'm like, no, it's because you're not supposed to go fucking kill them. It's there to, it's called a blockade. It says, yo, there's like tons of content behind you. Maybe go do that. I swear to God, I can't even with this motherfucker right now. Third, right? I'm the bad guy here for telling some small punk that wants to steal from other people and just shit on them. Just absolutely shit on Bro, the only one stealing is you because you're stealing everyone's fucking intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that Mischief was 16, 17 just made it shittier because he's young. Because mm -hmm. someone like that could easily be manipulated yep. by someone like you. But that's a but that's a smart kid, man. I mean, he's only 16 years old, and you couldn't get the best of him. <laughs> and a lot of these smaller channels, 200 subscribers, 400 subscribers, 4,000 subscribers, that, that tier of lower YouTuber, amazing. Let's give a shout out to Mischief. You know that is a great idea, Quantum. For once, we agree on something. Everybody, go subscribe to Mischief. Yep. Let's go go. Him. If you haven't yet, go subscribe to Mischief. I kind of do want to help bump him bump him up a bit further the dude probably at about ninety-two thousand subscribers right now now who's the lower tier stream now who's the lower tier youtuber quantum now who's the lower tier to more subscribers than quantum tv so we can see who the real lower tier youtuber is wouldn't that be amazing subscribe to mischief for justice yes never in your wildest dreams did you expect someone like mischief to have a powerful ally like me but against scum like you i'll always try to be there to clean up the streets it's funny isn't it the old saying the enemy of my enemy is my friend while I may not like what Griffin Gaming has to say about some of my videos or my Vanguard review, who cares about any of that? This is way more important. YouTube is a platform where we should all be able to hate each other and coexist. Yep. You threaten that, Quantum. Yep. Smack talk and smear somebody's reputation that they don't like for the moment and move on to the next person. You know who's also big for doing this? Griffin Gaming. There's so many. That's right, bro. For some reason, you decide to go after Griffin Gaming 2 for doing the same thing Mischief did. God knows how many other YouTubers you've attacked in the comments section. The pattern is Quantum will start beef with anyone who talks about him. He'll produce a video, leave it up for a day, and then delete it because he realized what a disaster it is for him. Yep. Like, for fuck's sake, he pulled his own video. Deleted by user. You tell me what that shit means. That's what you call ironic. I got all these fuckers calling me out of my name. I'm a scumbag. I'm this, that, and the third. You are, bro. Many gamers that do this toxic shit where they find somebody they want to bully and they think this shit works. It doesn't work. Like, if you don't want to get quote unquote bullied, keep your opinions to yourself. Maybe uploading them to a public website is probably not the best idea. Griffin makes. I mean, here's the thing. At this point in time, Quantum feels like he's taking a shit in public and everyone's shouting at him and he's basically going, I haven't shat in public. What are you talking about? I haven't shat in public. And everyone's like, dude, we got it on camera. You have shat in public. I'm like, nah, that's false evidence. It's fake. Fuck you. That's a good point. If you upload something to YouTube, anyone can criticize it or talk about it. Exactly. You if anyone decides to critique any of my content, I'm fucking welcome to it. Go for it. I don't care. As long as you do some kind, comfortable, as long as you give me some appropriate feedback at the end of it to help me grow, to help me improve, I don't care. Just any feedback. Have fun with it. Go for it. Just do it. Posted it to the internet. That's the end of it. He expects the internet to be nice to him. Fuck <laughs> you did say you were going to look into your options. You did want to take legal action against me. That's also another shtick that people told me about you like griffin gaming that's what you do don't make it like that was clickbait chief you were thinking about it ironically in his quest to silence all criticism quantum tv has invoked the streisand effect to its maximum potential your efforts to hide the truth if you have only increased people's if you were unaware of the streisand effect the streisand effect is basically where you say i don't want people seeing this please don't look at it and then everyone goes wait what don't you want us to see it's the whole concept of Unus Anus, where it's like, this shit's only going to be around for like a year. Don't watch it. And then you go and watch it. Yes. The Streisand effect is basically, don't look here. Don't pay attention. 
don't i i did some dodgy things in the past please don't pay attention and then everyone goes Ooh, what don't you want us to see it's like basically me going oh i've got a fucking three foot dildo under my bed please don't go look under there and then your response is three foot dildo let's go curiosity about it to the point where some of the biggest youtubers and twitch streamers are aware of your bullshit now too yeah be looking into sharing quantum's abuse of the copyright hey look it's husband important people at youtube uh, as this is something that can lead to the termination of your channel. And I responded and I said to him, imagine having a take on Elden Ring that's literally so bad that you end up getting banned for it. That's too fucking bad, isn't it? Yep. That is just <laughs> too fucking bad. Can you bad. imagine that? Wow. Can you imagine having such a hot take on a fucking video that you get your whole YouTube video, your whole YouTube career taken down in like an instant? Can you imagine? Review Tech USA was one of the next people to cover Quantum's hot takes. I'm just going to start off by saying there has been a lot of controversy created by specifically Review Tech USA. Now, Rich's videos discussed the bad Elden Ring takes, but also highlighted that Quantum TV has been evading a previous ban on YouTube. Which is against terms of service, just so you know. On every terms of service, on every fucking platform, YouTube, Twitch, Instagram, TikTok, all of them have it. Please don't ban evade. It's actually a bannable offense to ban evade. Take that! A ban for hate speech. Did I mention 6,752 times that he's ban evading? Objection. How is a previous ban relevant? Objection. Because it's against terms of service. Rich has provided ample evidence of bigoted, hateful, downright disgusting posts from Quantum across his Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. Some of this evidence also came from the TV community, which apparently from my DMs is also sick of his shit. Yep. This is not cancel culture. This is not. This is someone being held accountable for their horrible, horrible actions that they did over and over and over and over again. Now, Rich isn't. And he is not wrong. In the situation where I did something wrong, I will, and people made me aware of it, I will look into it and I would apologize for it. I would outright say I was unaware of X reason, or I wasn't in the best mindset due to something happening, or something or other. I wouldn't come up with excuses. I would own up to it. Guess what? Actman has said things in this past. Dude's fucking apologized for it going after Quantum's past because of cancel culture, right? This is to further establish the legitimacy of your previous channel's ban, Quantum, and therefore justify a ban for your current one. In a response to a picture of two people kissing in a church, he wrote, too bad you weren't a Pulse victim. In reference to the Pulse nightclub shooting, an incident at a gay bar where 47 people were killed. I remember when that happened, and as a trans person, a member of the LGBT community, I can say this now, in no way, shape, or fucking form, anyone ever fucking saying anything around anyone ever becoming a pulse victim is never a form of fucking comedy. There is no coming back from that. None whatsoever i get it if you don't like the trans community i get it if you don't like the gay community i get it if you don't like any community but wishing death upon anyone is a disgusting thing to do and if anyone in my community ever does anything ever lightly in that same direction i'm sorry you are gone so fucking fast you don't even know what the fuck happened there is no coming back from that. I have gotten into arguments with an individual who literally told someone to go kill themselves because they were completely unaware that, yeah, the person you told to go kill themselves, guess what? They were really fucking having a bad day and you just willy nilly dropping that like, <laughs> I'm doing this as a joke. I'm like, you nearly pushed them to the point where they almost went and fucking killed themselves. And I had a shout at them. Guess what? Six months later, they apologized. They came back and were like, sorry, I was in a bad mindset. I was on new medication. I was really, really bad. And guess what? We, could, we, we, we cleared shit out. We cleared shit up. And sure, we don't talk as much because it still fucking stings what they fucking said. I don't, I, I, but I don't fucking hate them for it. Because guess what? They owned up to their mistakes. <laughs>
I'm gonna go to bed. Okay, Phil, have a wonderful sleep. Get this piece of trash off of YouTube. Isn't it funny when people try to call you a bigot and a homophobe when they're literally exactly what they're trying to accuse you of being? Look at you. Literally look at what you're doing. It's rich watching you try to paint me as some sort of bigot as you literally are one. He put up very, very hateful things towards the LGBTQ community. And I'm not just talking mean words. He actually wished death on them. Wishing death upon someone is another story. I seriously question your sanity. And this is what Quantum TV wrote back. Uh, they deserve it. The world is better off without them forcing their lifestyle on it. These are your accounts that you had linked on your YouTube, but all of a sudden you're not responsible for them? That's not how it works. Do you want to know what the LGBT or the gay agenda is? Do you want to know what? Do you want to know that how simple our, the agenda of the LGBT community is? This is the bit which I think Quantum does not understand. The agenda of the LGBT community is to not convert other people to become gay. Why would we? Why? Do you want to know what our response? Do you know what we want? We want something as simple as we want to wake up in the morning and not feel like we're going to get killed today. We want to wake up in the morning next to the individual that we love and that we want to spend the rest of our life with. We don't want to walk. We want to be able to leave our homes and not feel ridiculed because we woke up that day. We just want to survive in a world where you are equally capable of surviving. I have a dick. Thank you, Axel, for the 13 months. I really appreciate it. But that's the gay agenda. Do you want to know that's the gay agenda? To survive, to live in the world, to wake up in the morning and not feel like we're going to get attacked because we, we woke up. There's nothing wrong with that. We just want to, we, we, we want equal footing to survive in this world. We just want to be left alone. We don't want, we don't want to be attacked. Do you want to be attacked? Do you want to wake up in the morning, walk outside your door and feel like some twat's going to walk up to you and punch you in the face? Do you want to have someone shout profanities at you because, because of your hair color, because of the person that you're holding your hand with is the same gender. Do you want to wake up in the morning and be like, oh, there's a dude in a skirt. What a fucking weirdo. I'm like, no, we just want to be able to leave. We want equal footing in this world. We want to be treated as human. Not a second or third class citizen. We're people at the end of the day. We get it if you don't like us. We get it if you don't agree with us. But at the end of the fucking day, if you seem to think... That that oh oh them being gay is gonna make other kids gay. We grew up with Disney. We grew up with Disney saying, "Oh, the princess has got to find her prince. They got to find their king." And like the most straight line growing up, everything in the media straight line. Yeah, guess what? We still grew up gay. It doesn't matter. We just want to be able to love the person that we love. And there's nothing wrong with that. Do you love the person you love? Because at the end of the day, me as a trans woman and my boyfriend being who he is, I wake up every morning fucking happy because I'm in love with a guy and he's in love with me. But here's the thing, Quantum, and this is the bit which I think you probably don't get. Do you seriously love your wife? that you so proudly boast about that ring with? Do you love her? Are you truly in love with her? Is she truly in love with you? Is there any doubt in your relationship? On any level, on either party? Because if there's any doubt that she might not be as into you as she seems to think she is, if there's any doubt about that, and guess what? My relationship is equal, if not more valid than yours. I'm not saying she wants to leave you, but if there's any doubt. Do you really think it's... A, a, yeah. At the end of the day, I love my partner, and that's what matters. And that's all I, that's all I care about. I, I love Cal. I love Cal. I'm not changing that anytime soon.
Man, a guy who consistently wishes death upon other people? Does that sound like someone we know? At the end of the day, go kill yourself, man. You see, By the way, that clip is taken from one of his responses to Elden Ring. He told the Elden Ring fucking community to go kill themselves. How fucked up of an individual do you have to be to say that? How fucked up do you have to be to think that? Rich was able to successfully prove a connection between the hateful things you said on Facebook and Twitter and your YouTube account and Discord. What else have you said? Just had some girl named Lindsay attack me via heterophobic messages spamming homosexual acts. This is my response to all who are heterophobic. And he shows someone uh, LGBT activist attacked in Georgia. Mark my words, Quantum, all roads lead to one destination, the termination of your current YouTube channel. And I will not rest until that is achieved. You're a fugitive on the run, but the law is catching up. In response, Quantum actually committed another crime of slander. Uh, he accused Review Tech USA of being something horrible. I'm not going to say it here. Uh, there's absolutely no evidence of this. Uh, so we can just add that to the list of crimes. To quote Asmund Gold, and to give you guys some context, let's just say he's someone that Chris Hansen might want to go and visit. And there's no fucking evidence of it. So Quantum, Receipts. To these hateful posts? Wishing death upon the LGBT community? Mm -hmm. And instead of coming to me like a man, you resorted to being a little bitch about it and doing what you knew would get you views and you tried to use the gay community against me and weaponize shit. And at the end of the day, Rich, you've got no fucking leg to stand on and you need to shut the fuck up, okay? The reality is, it is what it is. I got hacked in 2018 and everything you find from 2018 is just that, it's a fucking hack. I don't owe you an apology and I'm not fucking sorry for shit I didn't do. That's, that's it. Objection! Mr. TV. Would you please read the words on your channel banner? The number one brand in honesty. Well, it should say the number one brand in lies. Ha! <laughs> Get burned. Take that! If your accounts were hacked and compromised, then why were these horrible offensive things left on your account after you regained control of it? You see, I've been hacked in the past. It's been a while. But I have indeed been hacked in the past, and whenever I've been hacked, I come back and I'm like, I'm sorry, everyone. My account was hacked. I'm sorry for anything that has been said that might have upset anyone. I'm currently dealing with it. And then I remove the posts. I acknowledge what has happened. I remove the problems. I apologize for any of it. If I hurt anyone, because it wasn't me. And then I move on with my life. I also upgrade my security. Why is there no history or post we can refer to of you mentioning the hack back in 2018? Unless these accounts were under the hacker's control for the last four years, but wait, that's not the case either because here's a Discord message of you saying you haven't used these accounts in years. Hmm. You wanna know something really funny? Notice how all of these receipts are here and he's never given any fucking evidence. This is all him. They were there. People screen capped him. He deleted the account. And that account, like I said, was linked on his YouTube. So did, did the hacker put you his, your, that Facebook in your YouTube about page? If you haven't had control of these accounts, then you're telling me the hackers went to your Twitter and Facebook profile accounts and deleted them while Review Tech USA was currently streaming and showing people the awful posts there. My Twitter was hacked. It's almost like someone's trying to hide evidence. Okay, so all of those posts that you're seeing from 2018 literally have nothing to do with me, unfortunately. There's not really much I can do outside of working for years to try to recover an account. Hold it! You wanna know how easy it is to recover an account? You wanna know how fucking easy it is? Nine times out of ten when your YouTube account or any account gets hacked, it's because of your email. Do you want to know how easy it is to get back into your email? I forgot the password. And then you send it for a recovery thing. You set obscene, stupid long passwords for like an auto-generator thing, right? Save them onto a system or anywhere on your PC. It doesn't fucking matter. Just don't call it password. Call it like homework or porn, if you really want to, just call it a porn folder. And what you do is you just put all of your passwords in there, 
and then in a situation where your account gets banned, you only need to prove that, oh, this was an old password I used. Do you want to know why? Because when you use an old password, which is like 24 letters long, obscene fucking anything, you get it back. Like, do you want to know why? Because that's what I've done. And you know what you then do? We go, oh, my account was hacked. And then you go, oh, yeah, here you go. You want to reset your password? Cool. Use an also generator again. New password done. Ooh, I'm back in my account. Takes 20 minutes. Takes fucking 20 fucking minutes. Sure. Let, let's use, let's put the common sense cap on, okay? Quantum TV. Why would a hacker, if they wanted to disavow you and discredit you and make you look terrible, rush to take down your Twitter and your blog post while I was streaming all the horrible things that were from it? Wouldn't they want to keep it up to make you look even worse? There's another key thing you're going to notice here throughout this video. Uh, he does not um, condemn the terrible things that supposed hackers put up on his Twitter. He doesn't disavow any of it. He just, he just tries to deflect and say it wasn't my fault which is very telling. Why is there a common theme of bigotry and hatred across all these accounts and platforms? Is that is that just pure coincidence? Hmm? I mean, this was you, right? You know it's wrong. That's why you deleted it. You're trying to hide it. Streisand effect. Ah, it's funny that. Is Quantum TV really is uh, anti-LGBTQ. He's transphobic, homophobic, racist, and I don't use any of these words lightly. David, fuck you and your hate speech against me, calling me homophobic because I'm anti-gay. Anti-gay basically means yeah, I'm a homophobic. I just don't like to call it homophobic because it makes me sound bad. Saying anti-gay to stupid people works, but when you've got a couple of extra brain cells in your head, you're kind of like, oh, that's homophobic. Support is all you liberals do. I'm, I'm pretty sure being anti-gay is homophobic. I've never pushed or forced my sexuality on the gays, yet they're legit forcing LGBT into games and movies. I okay, consider the following. In The Last of Us Part 2, Ellie is gay. Have you ever wondered that that might be down to the fucking story? Because in The Last of Us Part 1, the DLC... She's fucking gay. It's just a gay character. It's not, oh, they're trying to push it into movies. It's called exposure. It's called normalizing. The funny part here is when TV was first produced, every face you saw on TV was a blistering white dude only white families and then the anti-racial the anti-racist group started pushing it in new characters started to show up who were of ethnic descent star trek introduced a black woman into the show she was a front and center character prior to that every per face you saw was white as hell and then over time new characters turned up new people introduce tv starts adding it in relationships between white individuals and black individuals started to go it's called exposure over time this shit's been going on for about 20 plus years now because lgbt exposure is now reaching a thing we're reaching the end of it being like "Ooh, we need to include some gay in our fucking game it's getting to the point where it's, well, what if they were gay? What if this character was gay? You get deeper root communication. Did you know that in The Incredibles, one of the superheroes which ends up dying, I think it's uh, the Storm dude, apparently he's gay. Did you know that? He lives with his, he lived with his uh, other male roommate and now five adopted children. I stand against your liberal communist propaganda. Black Panther is racist and only the most hateful blacks like it. Yes, hello. Uh, what are the symptoms of brain damage? Okay, yeah, yeah. I think this guy definitely has it then. You've done yourself in, Quantum. You've done yourself in. Huh? Explain the- I really want a 3D TV right now because I feel, feel like he's pointing out the screen. <laughs> this away, huh? Explain all this shit away. What's the matter? Huh? 
Good enough. And since we're on the topic of racist, um, remember when you called Lenny Kravitz's daughter a half-breed? You had Lena Kyle, which is Lenny Kravitz's daughter, like a half-breed. I, I can't. What the fuck? Basically. Or was that the hackers? Did the hackers, like, like... It's a deep fake, guys. Guys, guys. It's a deep fake. It, 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 it's, a, it's a deep fake video. That's what he's gonna say now. Is, is that, that was a deep fake. That was deep fake. It wasn't me. Manipulate the footage and then post it on your YouTube channel, which you then later deleted, because that seems to be you and that seems to be your voice. Uh, half breed is a racial slur, and it's and it is also included in Harry Potter universe, along with Muggle. Which isn't so much of a racial slur, more boring person. It's fucked up to call people that. Here's a screenshot of him defending one of his Discord moderators for the liberal use of the word tranny when referring to trans people. As a trans person, I can say this now. That word has always been derogative. There has never been a correct time to use this word outside of insulting someone it is the equivalency in the trans community is dropping the n-word which i will not say because i am a respectful human fucking being that word is nothing more than a fucking insult if you use it liberally just for the sake of using it you are a horrible person this happened like last week were these recent Discord messages faked as well? Do you think calling trans people tranny is a hip, cool thing to do to stick it to the man? And it is not. Those liberal communists? Get fucked. Get absolutely fucked. I'm here to bury you. And I will happily join in on this lawsuit. If he, if it if it comes to it, x Men, I will happily join in on your lawsuit because I'm pretty sure I'm going to get a DMCA strike for this video. Everything Quantum does is for his own self-image. Uh, the pattern of behavior, silencing comments, trying to silence Ice people's note. videos, deleting his own channels, deleting videos he uploaded, trying to prevent people from further downloading the videos. It's like you have never been on the internet. Nobody buys it. Nobody buys it. Quantum will argue that all of this is just, it's just one big misunderstanding, you know, that everyone is showing his clips and posts out of context. We're removing all the context. A, I don't like- I have seen the stuff in context and out of context. I'm gonna say this. When you put it- Taking it out of context makes it lighter. It gets so much worse when you blow up the whole conversation. Instead of just quoting or just power clipping the whole thing. I've seen- them and they are fucking terrible the fucking game it's an endless pointless death loop which i've established at multiple points in my review snow don't worry this will be up on youtube new process which we will be showing in context instead of the out of context shit that all of these youtubers are running with objection you really are intent on burying yourself aren't you your throne of lies is collapsing underneath you you claim i took your clips out of context but how can I provide context to my viewers when you delete the videos and threaten me with copyright strikes if I dare provide more context? You see, if anyone were to re-upload those old videos, I'm sure you would go after them too. So you can't ask for us to give more context when you are actively removing our ability to do that. You are a troglodyte. If I can't link people to the videos and I can't show them the full thing- Matt, here's the thing. It's a word used by people who don't know. It's commonly the the using the term using that term in um. It's commonly used in porn because it's just a simplification, but using it in the way that they were was insulting. The way that you've done it is under explanation for people who aren't aware of it. Don't feel horrible. You're not a dick. You've con consider this. You've acknowledged that you've used the word in the past, and you've apologized for it. Notice the difference? You've acknowledged that you made a mistake, but you are fine. Because you are not a horrible person. I'm gonna say that now, you're not a horrible person. You're not a dick. You were just unaware. Thing ...of what you said, and trust me, the context of everything he says is, is made worse. 
But if I can't do that, then people just have to go off of what I say and what I'm showing them. I don't like that, but that's the situation you put me in. While we're discussing clips out of context, I will say this for all of you idiots that don't understand. At the end of the day, go kill yourself, man. You know, we could sit here and argue all the ways that my video, Mischief, Griffin Gaming, Review Tech USA, Mudahar, anybody else that's covered this, we could sit here and debate on why it's fair use, but we all know that. The only person that doesn't understand this is you, Quantum. I wouldn't have believed this if I didn't see it for myself, but while you literally sit here sucking on cucumbers in a very provocative way. <gasps> sounds like someone's in the closet. There's a lot that that says about <laughs> your behavior. Mm -hmm. You see, so Quantum consistently references the copyright ID tool he used to false flag people. That I'm a false copyright flagger because some 16 year old got picked up on the copyright ID tool, which is YouTube's algorithm. He being a little fuck that likes to take people's video and use them and talk about them and say whatever they want. And, and I fucking use the tool the way it's supposed to be used. I'm a abuser. You can use the YouTube algorithm to actually go ahead and copyright people. But the thing is, you shouldn't. Like I said, all YouTubers have universally agreed not to use nukes. It is the nuclear agreement on YouTube. Don't use DMCA, don't use copyright system. Much like how big countries have gone, maybe we shouldn't use nukes. It's a bit mean, don't you think? We just go, I don't like you, bye bye. That's the problem. Like I said, YouTube support advised me that filing a copyright claim against you was the best way to remove the re-uploaded content. So, wait a fucking second. OBJECTION! That, I can accurately say, is a load of bullshit. YouTube will not tell you to file a copyright claim just because a video is re-uploaded. At least not exactly like that. Again, like in the beginning example, if I uploaded an entire key- Koi, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime, I really appreciate it. ...key show to YouTube, YouTube would get that DMCA because YouTube is a safe harbor website. As soon as they get a copyright claim, they must act on it or else they lose a lot of those protections. Yeah. So yeah, they remove your video. That doesn't mean YouTube is going to accurately speak to you through their support channel on a serious legal issue. YouTube will actually straight up want you to talk to a lawyer because yep. once you file a DMCA, a legally binding DMCA, that's between you your attorneys, and that's it. You realize following YouTube support advice on copyright claims to remove re-uploads failed me. And as a result, I'm being labeled as a copyright abuser, right? And then this person says that I cannot answer for you. It's a fucking support agent, okay? Don't believe the support agent who's probably not even from the country that you're dealing in is, is gonna give you accurate information. I'm not gonna lie. I genuinely love Muda and all of his content. I think he is probably one of the most fascinating people on the platform. And the dude does so much research and you know, f and I know for a fucking fact after this video and I watched it, he went to YouTube to be like, yo, we got a problem. We need talk. Anytime you deal with legal shit, you should be smart enough to know to get a goddamn lawyer. Yep. You blame YouTube support for the false copyright takedown instead of yourself. Somehow, everyone else on YouTube is completely unaware of what copyright is and fair use and the four factors of fair use. It's, it's everyone's wrong but you- You wanna know the four factors of fair use? The four factors of fair use are basically as follows. If you're gonna critique, give some feedback. Do not straight up re-upload and try and go for roughly a 80-20 ratio. So 80% of the video can be the video you're reviewing, 20% is something else. That's roughly what it is. The four, the, the, the pillars of fucking copyright abuse is like, okay. Um, as if a piece of software built into the YouTube system is somehow responsible for your illegal actions. Is that Snow? That's the thing. It wasn't Bungie doing the copyrights. It was someone else. And their system works under an 80-20 rule. So you can't just turn around and be like, I'm straight uploading a cutscene. Or I'm straight uploading music from the game. It needs to basically be like... You playing the game, doing your own thing, giving feedback, reacting to you playing the game, and then, yeah. It's not.
But I, but after after my encounter with Quantum in the DMs, I was like, this is a man who cannot be reasoned with, who will not change for anyone, and who cannot change. He is still the same hateful, bigoted, racist, transphobic piece of human trash, copyright abuser that he was before. Nothing has changed. He has only been trying to hide all this stuff. Like, you you understand, by law, I can counter sue you if you come after me. I will win, and I will clean you out. You will sell that wedding ring on your finger. You will sell your house and any valuable possessions you have for wasting my fucking time. I'm the act attorney, of course. I win every case. The laws do not change based on what Quantum TV thinks about them. Quantum, we have evidence of hate speech. We have evidence of you telling people to kill themselves on multiple accounts. We have proof of all of this through your accounts that we can also prove were not hacked. We have evidence of you threatening multiple content creators with false copyright takedowns going against fair use. We have all the proof we need to get your YouTube account terminated, and it's all thanks to you and i'm about to add some sauce on top of this we have evidence of what do you see here i just discovered your channel and you're completely in the right please just have people just have nothing to do go to quote messages up i have discovered your channel notice anything here i think they might be copy pasted I think Quantum, Quantum, are you buying comments? Are you buying comments? Are you buying comments? Because we've got evidence. There is evidence from the past on your old account, which you got banned for, of you buying subscribers and views. Are you buying your comments? I think you are. Ah, I think you are because after this, you fucking disabled comments once it was addressed in the fucking Discord. We found out you were buying comments, you fucking disabled them. Care to explain, Mr. Quantum? Care to explain? I think I, I I think you're hiding evidence, which I'm pretty sure is against the law. Especially when we know that this is the thing that you've been doing. Considering earlier on in the video, we spotted a pattern with your subscriber growth of literally on the dot a hundred new subscribers. You are, sir, a channel. Which reviews T fucking V's? You review TVs. You should be getting maybe 15, 20 subscribers a day, and your videos should not be getting 20,000 views every fucking video. You should be uploading a video, maybe getting 50, 60 videos, uh, 50, 60 subscribers here and there. And your videos might should be getting about six or seven hundred, maybe about a thousand. Do you want to know why? Because if I'm interested in the TV, I will look up the model and look up reviews on it. Am I the only one that will be like, I'm interested in this new brand new TV. Let's go and have a look at this new TV. Let's see what reviews are out there. You would do... And everyone buys the TV, they fucking forget for about three years. Who the fuck is watching you review all of these TVs on repeat? Like, oh, I'm so interested in a new TV. I've got to add a new one to my pile of 50 fucking TVs. The fuck? The fuck? Give it up, guys. Give it up for this laughing stock clown man out here providing quality entertainment. You see, we've been able to elevate the voices of the people you tried to silence, coerce, and threaten. Hopefully the YouTube community can come together and demand YouTube implement better systems in place so that content creators that abuse this system 
are much more heavily reprimanded and discouraged from abusing it. Well, do you know what I think that YouTube needs to do? They need to have it. So you need to fill in your home address, your home number, your personal email address, basically automatically add in all of the contact information you use on your channel. It take all of that and be like, a boom. We're sending this to the individual. Basically be like, yo, you wanna you you wanna copyright claim this person? You're doxing yourself in the process, just so you know. And here's the thing, they could say no and not send any information back. Do you, do you, do you want to risk a dox? Oh, and in the situation where it's found out to be false, then instant channel deletion. Just so you know, oh, if you get you get like three false copyright claims and and then that's it, bye. That's it, goodbye, bye, copyright claims. Three false flags over like a year, bye. Guarantee you this fucking dude would have done them within the week. Call it Quantum's Code. Copyright takedowns is- Oh, the law. Akin to using nukes. Yep. We all understand the ramifications of using such a tool and that's why we've collectively agreed not to do that. Because if we could just take down any video we didn't like, then nobody would have a place here. And a platform that isn't made for everyone is a platform that shouldn't be made, in my opinion. Much like Quantum's review on Elden Ring of, if a game isn't accessible to everyone, it shouldn't be made. Before arriving at my final point, here's the most important thing I have to say about all of this. Unfortunately, there is no cure for narcissistic personality disorder. Fuck Elden Ring. Fuck their players. I'm not sorry. I don't like Elden Ring players. They're nasty people. None of this has anything to do with legitimacy. Quantum isn't using this controversy to grow his channel. Yep. And this has nothing. He's not using it to grow his channel, but he sure as fuck is buying subscribers because we have seen the evidence. ...to do with Elden Ring. This has everything to do with a disorder. Yep ego yep listen very closely once more i will get your youtube channel deleted you have committed crimes in no unmistaken stop you violated the law i have contacts at youtube i have already messaged we have a meeting set up you have demonstrated a history of hate speech targeted harassment false claims yep you have a and this shit goes back years just so you know there's a completely another video we're not going to go into that today or probably ever, of a dude last year um, who did a review on one of his games and he was like, oh my God, I'm getting so much, I'm getting death threats, they know where my kids are. I'm like, and he ended up taking the video down. He managed to bully another creator into taking their video down and we're just having enough, everyone's just had enough of this shit. Apologized for exactly none of it. Yep. You have made no effort to correct, address, or even admit a single mistake you've made. You make YouTube a worse place for everyone. Frankly, I'm witnessing somebody who has no idea of how like legal systems work. And frankly, they're making YouTube a bad, you know, place for anybody else, okay? There is one thing no community on YouTube tolerates and it's a copyright abuser. I don't care about your opinion, dude. I care about the fact that you're nuts and you're toxic to this community. Cool. Yeah, this is like the Jussie Smollett of fucking YouTube. 100%, that's the perfect description for this guy. I suggest you make peace with whatever content you wish to publish on your channel before you see this screen again and quantum you're gonna see it again yes I you are be able to offer a cure for narcissism but hopefully by shattering this false reality and sense of yourself then perhaps maybe whatever spell you're under you will wake up from it it's such a shame and i was planning on asking you about this new tv i was interested in So that's basically the video. Th that that that's the video. If you want to know, if you want to go to mischief, then uh, oh, I'm I'm gonna link his, th I'll, I'll link his, uh, channel. There you go. This is mischief. Mischief is the one that brought everything to light. He has other videos on other people who his whole thing is basically reviewing reviewers. His whole thing is basically going, you're...
is that guy like an actual viewer? Uh, no, he um, Axeman is not a lawyer um, in any way, shape, or form, but he is completely aware of the YouTube legal system because he's been involved in YouTube for a fair few years at this point. Now, here's the thing. I don't want you guys to go send hate to Quantum. You guys are better than that. Um, we're better than that. No way, shape, or form. Don't want any levels of harassment from any of you guys whatsoever. But I want you guys to go and make sure you subscribe to Mischief. By the way, this is a this is a plugin. Channel analytics. It's just something you use as a YouTuber. Um, but yeah, uh, this is this is something that's been going on for like the better part of like two months now. Um, this this is him giving uh, the accusations video. He's got it there. Go have fun with that. Um, but yeah, Actman has no legal background whatsoever. He doesn't. He's not an official lawyer. But he has talked to a lawyer, and he's actually been told by his lawyer, "You have grounds to counter sue." Yes. Yes, you do. <laughs> okay, I thought it was because he had different uh, plaques on the wall. Oh, you want to know the plaques on the wall? The plaques on the wall that you saw? You want to know what the plaques on the wall are? Stereotype that you could possibly imagine. And you the plaques on the wall that you saw... Where is it? The, the plaques on the wall you saw... It's the YouTube gold play button, because the dude's got over a million subscribers. Over a million subscribers. This is the silver, and I think these are just certificates for something, I don't know. But he's just got some gold play button, yes. But yes, I, I'll, I'll link, I, I'm going to make sure to link you guys to Axeman. Really funny guy. Fucking found him because of all the shit deep dove into it uh, whilst I was sick. Oh, I need to go in here. Uh, deep dove into it whilst I was sick because of the whole hormone issue going on. Um, genuinely, great guy, great content. Really found, found his stuff interesting. Um, yeah. Dude's a piece of fucking work. Honest to fuck. It is fucking horrifying. It is horrifying that he thinks he can get away with this shit, and I shit you not, um, he's not going to. Um, I don't know what else to say. I, I genuinely, I, I genuinely do not know what else to say other than the fact that he's clearly an abuse, a, a, a copyright abuser. He's clearly has no fucking clue what the hell he is doing, and he genuinely needs help. The dude needs help. And yeah, I, I'm sorry to say this, but Quantum Hour has no ground to stand on. Just no grounds to stand on. There is no legal action on his side which will get him a W. If I was him, I would have taken the L, taken the feedback, and moved on. But he's trying to go, oh, I'm trying to protect my brand, I'm trying to protect my integrity. At the end of the day, if you're trying to get build a brand and all that stuff, I understand that. I've been trying to build a brand for years. But any critique or feedback, grow from it. You don't fucking go, oh, this is harming me. You accept it and you move on. You take the you take the L and you grow from it. You don't go oh shit this oh shit that you take the l and move on from it don't just take the l dude just take a uh, quantum if you're listening to this professional fucking advice take the l apologize for everything and move on i know you seem to think that apologizing means ooh this uh, ooh i have apologized ooh it, it, it's like, oh, if I apologize, I can just get away with anything. I'm like, no, if you apologize, you acknowledge that what you've done is wrong. And you need to genuinely just own up to your mistakes. 
At this point, the only ground he has to stand on is the prison floor. The best thing to come out of all of this is YouTube overhauling their entire... Um, the best thing to come out of all of this is uh, YouTube overhauling their entire system to make it, e make it fair for everyone. The best thing to come out of all of this is YouTube being like, yo... Yo, we acknowledge that this is a problem. This is getting serious now. We've got companies abusing it. We've got individuals abusing it. This. Yeah, it's as simple as. It's just as simple as that. Hoping, I'm hoping that all of this YouTube goes, yo, what the fuck? What the fuck? We, we, we have a problem, this. Right, I'm hoping that that's what happens from it. YouTube acknowledging it. Looks like I came back to the end of it. You did! You did, Terrace. This is a... You're going to enjoy... I think you're going to really be like... Holy shit. <laughs> but yeah, um... I don't know what else to say on this or all of this. It is such a fucking deep dive, mind-boggling thing that it's like, holy fuck. How... How how can a human think that it's acceptable to act that way? Like in any way, shape, or form, how can you think that that's acceptable? There's no there's no justification for what he has done. Where he's in the right, just take the L. You are a fucking TV reviewer and calibrator and not even a good one with any degrees. You're just a dick who's abusing a system. He's just a dick that's just abusing the system. Oh, I love this song. Anyway, I'm going to be switching my over to VR chat and I'll see you in VR in a minute. It doesn't matter who's to blame to blame to blame I wanna say it out loud cause then it feels real Don't wanna get Did what happened five years ago? If you're talking about the H3 podcast stuff, um, yeah, that happened five years ago. This is a repeat issue.
everyone's weekend been? that if YouTube doesn't acknowledge this issue, everyone could do a class action lawsuit against them. Hey, I figured out how to get into the full body without causing issues. Hello everyone! Oh. I didn't mean- what? Oh, I went to the wrong scene. <laughs> if I understand Bungie are suing people who abuse DMC on YouTube. Yep! Yep! That's the thing, they, they've acknowledged that there was an issue with it and they just went, Yo, fuck you guys! Where's my tracking going? It needs to be on my hip. Hi, how are you? How's your day going? I'm doing good. How are you? Give me a moment. Uh, right side goes shrinky dinky. Change this over to. I hope. Category should have changed now. But yeah, I'm doing good. How are you doing? But yeah, the whole copyright shit. The whole copyright shit is being so abused at the moment by a handful of individuals and they're making the platform harder for other creators to the point where it's like... The fuck? <laughs> yeah, here's the, here's the thing. I understand companies need to be protected. They need to be. But they also need to be held accountable for... They, they just need to be held accountable for um, abuse. Um, review, con people reviewing their channels and um, other things. My tracking is a bit all over the place. I need to recalibrate my system. But that's the thing. It's such a horrible, pointless piece of bullshit right now. I get it. Copyright infringement and stuff is a bad thing. All of this is a bad thing. But at the end of the fucking day, you have channels on YouTube where they literally describe the entire fucking movie. And that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. But you do a review on it. You give a bit of bad... You give it a bit of negativity. They're like, we don't like your video. Copyright strike them. Copyright strike them now. I'm like, learn from the mistakes. Take it as feedback. Learn. Grow. Fucking stop being such a fucking adult child and grow the fuck up. It's also funny when YouTube, uh, when Pornhub has a better copyright system. At this point in time, Pornhub has a nicer chat section than YouTube. Recalibrate. Getting into full body now is really fucking so much hassle because, uh, yeah, 
Yeah. <laughs> Getting into full body is really awkward now. They made it so much more awkward, it's really annoying. <laughs> but look, 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 look. <laughs> but yeah, it's so, it's fucking, I, here's the thing, we don't want an overhaul, we don't want to remove copyright, we don't want to get rid of copyright. The thing that we want on, on, on YouTube is a fair system which doesn't fuck over the person receiving the DMCA. The fact that, oh, I'm going to send a copyright strike to this person, or I'm going to DMCA take down this person. I'm going to send no information of mine over, I'm just going to say I want this taken down. And then the situation where you counterclaim, oh look, now you've got to type in all your personal information and then they send it over to the thing. Bizbone. 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 Yee. <laughs> <laughs> it's really cool though, because now other people can mess with my hair. And if it gets in the way, I'm just like, fuck you, get off, get off my, get off my shoulder. But yeah, I, the whole copyright, here's the thing. The system needs to be changed to made to be fair. It needs to basically be like, if you are trying to DMCA take down someone, you need... If you are trying to DMCA take down someone, then no information needs to be sent either way until legal ground is performed, in which case both individuals are required to put in their contact information, but then they're not sent to the other person to stop doxing. Yeah, my ass has jiggle as well, just apparently it doesn't work 99% of the time. Anyway, how is everyone doing? What does everyone get to up this weekend? I have decided I need a financial goal. My nan on the weekend graciously got me a new fucking bed. So I have something decent to sleep on and it's actually a really, really nice sofa bed and I actually am so fucking proud of it. I'm really, really happy about it. I, I, I can't wait to get it. It comes next Thursday. My weekend has got been good, just been playing Elden Ring. It is such a fun game. I love it so much. God knows why you would have to have a hot take on Elden Ring. Um, I'm going to change this song quickly. I didn't do... There you go. This will be fine. And my weekend was boring. Um, so my weekend, I went to my nan's. I went, cause I, I went and saw my nan this weekend cause I haven't seen her since before COVID happened. Um, and everything else. I, I and also I've been fucking busy trying to, you know, survive. Um, but I went and saw my nan and we went, um, we went out and we bought a, uh, we went out, um, we had dinner and we had lunch, sorry, so we went and had lunch, we bought, um, we bought myself a bed, we had a wander around with this really, really nice store with loads of stuff in. She got a pillow, she needed a new pillow, and, um, she was looking at one, and she basically, I love my nan, I love my nan, I love how blunt she is, she walked up to these pillows in a stack, and she just walked over and just like, I wonder how comfy these are. That's nice. <laughs> That's nice, but it's a bit too firm for me. And then I turn it around and looks over and I went, there's a soft one there. And I went, oh, you might like those ones, they're a bit soft. She walks over and just goes, oh, that's nice. I like that. <laughs> I said, what about those ones? She wanders over and she just goes, no, I don't like that. <laughs> She just walks over to the pillows and she just goes, dunk, ah. <laughs> but yeah, I, I I love that she did that. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> I love you. <laughs> but 
but yeah, she got me a bed and uh, we had dinner. We went to a garden center. People can't say I need to touch grass when I went to a garden center and touched like 50 different fucking breeds. I touched so much grass. So much grass. I like that woman. I love my nan. My nan, here's the thing though, I'm concerned about her mental health though because um, I'm concerned about her mental health because since my grand, uh, my grand died, um, I think she's been feeling alone recently. You know that I'm, 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 I'm very much an empath. I feel what other people are feeling. And when I was there, there were small things which I picked up on, like us. At one point she did a passing remark saying, oh, it's just nuisance, I get in the way all the time. And I was basically gonna say, Nan, you, you never, I was like, no, you, you, you're not in the way. You're not a nuisance. You're, 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 you're the glue holding this fucking family together right now. You need to realize that. It's a situation of Nan. Once you're gone, I'm probably gonna end up talking to her, everyone hardly, uh, hardly ever. <laughs> when, she, when she's gone, I'm like, I, 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 I don't need to talk to my cousins nearly as much. I, I, I love my nan. I love my nan. I love my family. I don't, I'm not saying that I won't ever talk to my family once she's gone, but it's a genuine situation of. 99% of the time I see my family and I always and it's because I want to go see my nan and everyone else is there It's not that I don't I hate them. It's just I genuinely I'm socially awkward. I don't deal well in crowds and My family is huge I have what was that? I've got my dad uncle, uncle, uncle. I have four uncles who each have a wife, and each of them have about at least two children. So it's eight plus two, plus two, plus two, and then one of them has six children. So it's a huge family, and I'm socially awkward, and I have bad anxiety when it comes to crowds, and I'm just stood there going, I need a corner with an escape route. Please, let me have my escape corner. I need to remove the jiggle on the tongue, I think. But yeah, um, so that's one of the reasons why I hardly been ever going out. The reason why I went out this weekend is because I was confirmed by my dad that it would be me, my dad, and my nan. That was it. And I loved it. It was a really nice day and I fucking enjoyed it. I had lamb burgers and they were great. They were so nice. Didn't like the flaky salad shit they had on it. It was so fucking nice. It was re it was a really really nice it was a really really nice day. But I touched so much grass. I found bamboo. Bamboo is just hyper grass. That shit grows tall. And we found some palm trees, and they were expensive. They were so expensive. I, I shit you not. They were so fucking expensive. It was so expensive. It were like. Ah, oh, how much is that? A thousand. I went, it's a, what? <laughs> Bamboo can grow one meter per day. Bamboo grow quick. Are they the lovely people? Hope you're all doing a wonderful day. Hi, Mentha. Mentheus, how are you doing? How are we all doing today? But yes, with my nan buying my uh, new bed, I have decided that I, I well, I wanted to do this before, but I kind of wanted to get the bed here before I got the, I wanted to get the bed here. I have decided I need to finish redecorating my room, which means I need a new desk, paint, though I might need to hold off on paint because I think we need to plaster a wall and I don't think my dad wants to do that until we redo the window. Um, so I need, I need a new desk, new paint, I need new mounts for shit to go on my desk, like a new boom arm because mine is, mine works. It's just too short, and with the new desk, it'll be, it won't get to where it needs to go. I want a new mount arm for it because I kind of need a mount arm. But I basically said to myself, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get myself. I need, I need, I know, I want to get myself all new mounting equipment for all of my streaming shit, um, and a new chair. So I have a goal. 
which it isn't on screen, which will be in the next stream. This is changing over to a financial, uh, a monetization goal. Subs and everything else will be included in it. Don't get that wrong. Shit will be there. But I'm going to have a financial goal, which will be to completely redecorate my, which will be to finish redecorating my room finally, so I can finally mentally move past the bullshit, which was my bitch ass roommate who fucking traumatized me. Um, but I will be, I, my financial goal is going to be roughly 2000 and I'm giving myself about two months to get it. it. Sounds like a lot, but 2000 in two months sounds reasonable to me. I've but you need to remember as well that's covering my bills on top of everything else I need to get. But I really, I think once I've got the new room, I can, I'll probably start feeling better constantly. I, I'll probably feel really good constantly. I can finally start being hyper productive and finally properly stepping up. I need new, I, want, I love my new curtains, but blackout curtains are fucking my head up, which is not a good thing. I need new curtains as well. I'm, I should have meant, I should have told Dad, don't get blackout curtains. Please don't get me blackout curtains. I'm not in any con contact with the rest of my family for a good reason. The only one my dad is still in contact with is his brother. Doesn't, I uh, don't know about the rest. See, here's the thing. Everyone says, oh, it's really, really bad when, it's really, really bad when a family member, like, decides to step away from the family. But it's like, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, we're all individuals. At the end of the day, we all need our own space. And at the end of the day, we all need to grow. Sometimes family is amazing. You need them when you, you need family. When a member of your family passes, you genuinely need them. Keeping up to date with all of them, know it, knowing that they're all okay, knowing that your family members are all okay, and all of that shit. Sure, great, great thing to do. But you don't need to be actively holding everyone's hand. You don't need to be in the situation of like, yo, I need help. Help me, help me, I need money. I have never gone to my family to be like, yo, I need money. Yo, I need money money please i've never been financially in trouble um but there are members in my family who have been in trouble constantly and it's like what are you expecting here <laughs> what are you expecting here the fuck <laughs> bitch the fuck <laughs> oh cool thing about full body tracking thing now is i can change my avatar without needing to recalibrate so it's really quick and snappy i really like that ah uh. But yeah, there's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with about not keeping in constant contact with your family. You're an individual. You need to grow. You need your own space. Oh yeah, uh, things that I want for my room: uh, new desk, new desk chair, because mine is actually f fucking uncomfortable to sit on for too long. Um, new mounting equipment, which isn't as expensive. Uh, I want to get some new sound panels as well. I want to rip all of, off all of these and mount um, some decent, high quality ones. Um, and maybe a new door. I think everything all together will set me back, yeah, roughly 2,000 with bills on top of it, which will also cover an extra month. My small part of my family, my small part of the family are the black sheep of the family because they have caused so much issues that we just fuck them. See, here's the thing. I'm reg I think I'm regarded as the black sheep of the family simply just because one, I'm trans, two, I am, it's like, one, I'm trans, two, I have severe social anxiety, so being around big crowds actually really fucks my head in, three, um, what was it, uh, three, I just, I, I'm very much in my own world, I'm, I'm, I'm aware I shouldn't be in my own world, I'm aware I shouldn't be in my own bubble, I'm aware that I need to try to step back, branch out, do all the good things, and so on and so forth. I'm an introvert, through and through, there's nothing wrong with being an introvert. But when you're in a family of constant extroverts, you're seen as the weird one, and like, no, I'm an introvert. I just don't do well in crowds. I have social anxiety. I have partial ag agoraphobia, okay? Going outside is fucking painful for me sometimes. I've had panic attacks going down the road. There you go. 
more sparkles. So for the bad wording, it's okay. Don't worry about it. But there's nothing wrong. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. It's like you with your. Here's the thing. Growing up, you had friends. So growing up, you had friends which you hung out with every day in school. You thought, oh my god, you're my best friend. I'm gonna hang out with you to the day we die. Friends for life. Yeah, friends for life. Everyone, all of your mates will be like, we're gonna be friends forever. When was the last time you talked to that person? When was the last time you actually said, yo, what's up, what's popping? I guarantee you, look back through your history, you'll have a friend. You'll have a friend of a family member who you haven't talked to in years. You might want to branch out and say hi and ask how they're doing. Um, but I guarantee you, you'll have friends from your past which are like, holy shit, I haven't talked to this person since fucking school. But yeah, you'll have friends growing up who you haven't talked to in fucking years. There's nothing wrong with not talking to someone. At the end of the day, there is a s point in time where you won't talk to someone ever again. And knowing that is fine. And that's an inevitability. But reaching out and t talking to people, it's difficult for some of us. For some of us, reaching out and simply talking to someone is one of the hardest things for us. Simply popping up and saying yo what's up how you been that's hard and the problem is is the problem i have is i'm always the one who is forced to be that person to ask how are you what's going on I hope you're okay me and my mum hardly talk not because i don't want to talk me and my mum hardly talk because i'm always the one who's expected to branch out to her our last 10 interactions has been me reaching out to her. I messaged her three days after my birthday, being like, yo, how you been? Sorry, I haven't talked in a while, been busy with work. And she was like, oh my God, it was your birthday the other day. I get it, mum. I missed your birthday. But I've been busy with my work. And your birthday is in the middle of the work, in the middle of the week, and I'm fucking busy. I, I even messaged her the other day saying, yo, sorry, I have a message due, happy birthday. Nine o'clock in the morning, I messaged that to her. Nine o'clock in the morning, I messaged my mum saying, yo, happy birthday, I hope you have an awesome day. And I said, sorry, I got to you so late, I didn't mean to message you so late. I'm like, it's the middle of the fucking day. She didn't even acknowledge the fact that I was like, yo, it's the middle of the day. You still had like 12 hours left. At least 12 hours to message me before I would have been annoyed. No, no, no acknowledgement. She said, oh yeah, thank you so much. Have a good, I'm having an awesome day. How are you? I'm like, I've been struggling with sleep. And she's like, oh, it's probably too much screen time. She pre-assumed that what I was doing was sitting in front of my screen all the time. Yes, I get loads of screen time. It's my job. It's my job. I have to have loads of screen time. I don't turn off. I don't get to turn off. I don't have that. I, I don't, I, I don't get to turn off of screens. It's part of the job, sadly. But yeah, I've been struggling with sleep recently because of the hormone shortage. I'm fine now, just so you guys know. I feel way fine. I'm still waking up like dog shit, but I'm fixing that with an alarm. And a, yes. Knowing Chris, how did you meet Cal since you have a hard time talking to people? I was drunk. <laughs> I was drunk. I was in VR chat. I was drunk. Um, when I get drunk, I get very snuggly and very cuddly. I only ever drink when I'm happy. And when I'm happy, I don't mind talking to people. I tend to branch out more. But I got so drunk, I couldn't stand up. Bearing in mind, I hardly ever drink. It wasn't that much to drink. I couldn't stand up properly because of a mat I am on a mattress on the floor. And I was on the floor. I was like, Ugh, struggling to stand up. Uh, and I got very cuddly. I got cuddly with glub. I got cuddly with Glub, and then Cal came over to rescue Glub, and then they spotted me, and they're like, I am madly in love with this bitch. I have a problem. <laughs> and that's how me and Cal met. One drunk night nearly a year ago. And he's the love of my fucking life, and I'm never leaving him for anything or anyone. And anyone tries to take him away from me, I will fucking stab you in the throat. Don't test me. 
no, I'm a kind person. I'll just push you down the stairs. <laughs> I'm sorry. I won't. I won't. But yeah, that's what happened. Um, that's what happened with me and Cal. We, 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 we met on a drunken night and it was a really, really like, holy shit night. Uh, oh, by the way, if you want to know the start of the video, I did do a, I, I, I did a reaction to that thing. I will be cutting that up. I'll, I'll be downloading it for um, my VODs channel, but I'll also cut it out and then edit it slightly and then um, put it on my main channel. So that's going on there. I'll introduce. I'll. Uh, I'll make sure I introduce a, uh, this is, this falls under fair use, please do not take it down, blah 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 blah, yeah. Getting the end of a bit part of your stream is always fun. Getting the end of a bit slash part of your stream is always fun. What happened, Taris? What did you, what, what happened this time? I just realised I haven't eaten today, and I don't, I, I think I, all I've got in the house is mac and cheese. My financial situation is fucked because I haven't streamed all month because I've been sick. Gotta love that. Uh, I, I, I'm in a, such a financial type fuckery right now. Let's sit down. I need a new chair. I need a new chair. One of the cool things that's gonna that's happening with the new uh, with the new bed is I will be able to sit on the new bed because it's a sofa bed. I'll just be able to sit down and be like, yes, I'm home. I could sit here all day. I watched a stream for the first time the other day. Cal feels like such a waifu. I might be wrong, but that's the vibe I get from him. He is mine. 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 I watched... Going back to you saying that you're, you're a kind person, but you'll push and down the stairs. Oh! Yeah, don't tell Cal for me. I bite, I have claws. I have claws. I will use them in defense of, of my man. Ugh. <laughs> I have claws, bitch. I might, I'm really tempted to add some more accessories to my avatar. I'm thinking headphones with some cat ears. <laughs> Maybe. Can I still bully Cal? Uh, yeah, you can bully him with money. But you can bully me as well, Buzzkill, don't worry. So yeah, I've got, okay, so here's what's gonna happen. This week, this week is a financial recovery week. I've made about $130 on Twitch, so any and all um, financial support is heavily appreciated. Friday will definitely be a Double Dono sellout stream, because um, I need to. I need to get, I need to get my money. I, I need to get paid. I, 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 okay. I'm fully aware that I don't, I, I don't want to beg you guys for money. If you choose not to, you don't have to. I'm never gonna. I'm never gonna. I don't want to beg you guys for money. But given how um, financially fucked I am this month because of how shit I have been feel feeling, because I've spent the month off basically, um, I will say this: any and all support is massively appreciated, and I will be stepping things up from this point forward. I know I've said this in the past, but in the past, I, up until recently, it basically feels like every time I'm like, I'm gonna do so much more. And then I'm sick like a day later and then I'm like, I can't do anything. I'm gonna do things at my own pace. I'm gonna try and do things here and there where I feel like it's necessary. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, but any and all support that you guys decide to give me is massively, massively, MASSIVELY appreciated. Um, 
Like, it's insanely appreciated. I can't thank you guys enough. I'm not going to go out of my way to beg you guys for money. I will, however, go out of my way to make sure that you guys feel like you're getting what it's worth for you. Um, this week, I will be doing a new Patreon shoot. Which I said I was going to do a couple weeks ago, but after I got that, I got hit with a fucking wave of, fu wave of fucking fatigue. Um, and I will also throw that up on my OnlyFans, in case you guys want to go see it there. Um... But I'll be trying to do- I'm gonna try and keep on top of things, I'm gonna try and pace things out properly. My Twitch stream content is gonna be adjusting ever so slightly. I'm not saying it's gonna completely change, but like at the start of the stream today, if I feel like there's something I wanna react to for you guys, because I wanna turn it into a YouTube video or something, then, um, so be it. I will react to it before we get started. That way I can use it as a YouTube video, which means more stuff coming- more stuff coming out. Um, <laughs> don't worry about that, I was only messing around. Um, but yeah, any and all financial supporters or things. Also, I fixed the five sub thing. I fixed the five sub thing. When you guys, when someone drops five subs, it doesn't, it doesn't fucking break. I fixed it. I'm a good person. I did the thing. And also, I need to talk to Neil. Um, the tracker he made, which isn't this one, seems to just completely ignore monetary on all levels. Just all, on all levels. I'm gonna try the versus one, and I'll just try and figure it out, and, and I'll just adjust it accordingly. But yeah, I need to figure out what the fuck is going on to fix that problem. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking about adding in headphones with like cat ears on my avatar. Does that sound like a cool idea? Just Headphones. I'll make it so I can take them off as well because of the, the, the new fizz bone shit. I'm still calling it dy uh, bone dynamics. Oh yeah, any and all support I really do love and appreciate. I'm not gonna beg you guys for money if you don't want to support me. Then don't. I know I'm not worth. I, I know I'm not worth the time uh, from this month. I I genuinely have not put in any hours. I think according to Twitch. This month, I don't even fall, and unless I go full ham this month, yeah, unless I go full ham this month, I've done like 13 hours of streaming this month, and made about 130. I, I made 130 dollars, and I, I and um, I've streamed 13 hours, whilst I've been sick, just so you know. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm gonna this month, the rest, the end of the between now and the end of the month is basically me going let's keep the lights on next month it's very much let's 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 do better that's that's my plan uh, that's my plan moving forward if you guys don't want to donate or support i don't mind if you want to subscribe i really appreciate it if you want to just watch my content sorry not sorry chat what are you doing Oh, is it broken? I know why. There we go. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Fuck your ass. <sighs> <sighs> 
I need to stop the audio mirroring. Uh -huh. I stopped it from doing the whole shit again. Uh, it's still going! Why? Why? <laughs> Thank you so much for the 10,000 biddies, Buzzkill, you Fucking psycho. I love you and I hate you. <laughs> Thank you, Cisco, for the sub for four months as well. Um I did it. I killed the funny number. You killed the oh no, six nine. Uh. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jake, for the thousand biddies. I really do appreciate it. Yeah, I heard it from the beginning and it was fucking loud. It was so fucking loud. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I did I, I I figured out what the problem was part way through and I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was br I'm not I'm not telling it to go over again. I fucking fixed that shit. I need to do it. I ain't going through hell twice. I ain't going through hell twice. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much for the 10,000 biddies and the thousand bits and the sub. I really do appreciate it. Hype train still going. 123%? Fuck me. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it, guys. You have no idea how much that means to me. Uh, I promise next month we're going to be doing so much more. I genuinely promise next month I'm going to be doing so much more. So, like, fucking hell. I'm, I'm planning content. I'm planning content. I'm planning. I'm planning. I'm planning things for you guys. I'm gonna plan things. I'm gonna be a big. I'm gonna be a good YouTuber, streamer person. Yes, I'm gonna plan. We plan our shit now. Let's go. Ah, uh, I just realized all I've got left for dinner is mac and cheese. <laughs> All I have for dinner is mac and cheese. Actually, I could just... No, I don't know. I think I've got enough noodles. Shit. Fuck. Yeah, it has to be mac and cheese. I'm gonna have a big-ass bowl of mac and cheese. Make that macaroni sound. Gonna go... Let's go! Let's go, mac and cheese! <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. You know I, 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 I really appreciate it. So, I don't know what to do now. <laughs> oh yeah, I want to get a sit-stand desk. The reason why I need to, the reason why I'm planning on um, putting the goal to be like two grand is I want a secret lab. So, I want to get a secret lab chair because this one is really narrow for me. Like my ass just fits in it. I want to get a wider one. I don't want to change the material because I hate fake leather. Fuck knows why I got the fake level one. Um, I want to get a sit stand so I can do things way easier on it. Just easier. Um, and I just want to get rid- I, I just want to replace these uh, sound panels. Because they're shit cheap things. I wouldn't mind a new door as well, but that's more of a need to talk to my dad about it. But, yes. I want to- I want to finish the upgrade. I want to finish the upgrade in style. I, I want to finish the upgrade because if I, once I finish the upgrade, then I'm like, yo, comfy. I can get on with work constantly. I can feel healthier as well because my desk will be right in front of the fucking window. And I can probably get in more sunlight because I can have the window, the curtains open slightly without feeling paranoid about someone climbing into my room and attacking me in my sleep. I have sleep hallucinations, just so you know. It's like... You broke! You prick! You prick! Sorry, Chatterino crashed. I am having such a bad day on... View... Show yourself items. 
I thought you guys left me and it wasn't you left me. It was Chatterino. Fuck you, Chatterino. Open. Open. There we go. Looks like I missed a choo-choo. Terris, you were here! You were here! What the fuck? <laughs> you, you were talking during the train! Oh, were you talking about what you wanted to do? You wanted to support? You wanted to make the train go further? <laughs> my chat- Buzzkill, you killed my chat arena! <laughs> you killed it. This is a clean. Yeah, I thought you guys got annoyed at me for talking and you guys just shut up. No, you didn't. It was my chat arena died. I I got to the my chat died around when Buzzkill did the winky emote. Okay, I mean I think chat uh, was not connected uh, that they did here at first half round. Oh, easy to clean, choo choo. Oh yeah, a uh, sit stand desk is just easier to work with. I take no prisoners. You do not. You 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 do not. You took chat. You broke chat. How could you? How could you do this? How could you do this to us? Wait, how could you do this to us? It's it's, it's what? Mm. But yeah, I, I, I appreciate the hype chain guys, I really do. I'm sorry I didn't say anything earlier. <laughs> I'm fucking hungry. Oh my crap. What the fuck? Oh no, I need to change this. No. No, not ass. I need to change this music. I am not listening to the fucking... But yeah, um, so I want to get a sit stand because then I can be more productive because when I'm w the thing that happens with me is when I'm working on things, if I get frustrated or I can't think of something or I'm uncomfortable, I genuinely just the only thing I do is I'll stand up, I'll walk around for like three, four minutes and then I'll lie down and just stare at the problem. And it's not a good thing. The best thing for me to do is stand up at my desk and just carry on working. Um, yeah, sit stand will help with my health, it'll help me with my energy, plus it's a good amount of space. Um, but the one I want isn't cheap. The, the one I'm looking at is about six or 700 pounds. It's not cheap. Uh, but the chair I'm looking at is about another 500 on top of it. So it's like, oh God, so much money. Um, I don't need to worry about the sound panels and everything else, but it, I, I'm, I'm gonna end up spending like an extra 300 on top of that for like, new mounts my shit because right now i've got two i've got three monitors and two um arms and only two of the monitors are attached my plan is is i want to get a new ergo arm with two arms so i can have my gaming display on one of them take the cheap display i've got and vertical mount it because i'm not gonna lie having that display vertical is actually a fucking godsend never never knock a fucking portrait display um, and I want my tablet display to be way over to the side. That's my plan. That's my plan. So I can use it to draw, so I can do, so I can try and be a bit more productive with it. Um, and also be able to raise everything off of the surface and move everything away. So I've got a good amount of space. But yeah, that's my plan. That's, that's the plan. But um, I'm going to say this. This week is going to be relatively chill vibes. It's, gonna, it's not going to be zero energy. It's just I need to get back into the rhythm of going live. I need to get back into the rhythm of being live for a certain amount of time. Um, where I've been sick all month dealing with fucking hormone shit. Um, then, like, yeah, I need to... Um, 
I'm going to get myself back into the rhythm. I'm going to get myself um, into a, a better place um, with everything. Once I'm back into a good rhythm, then we're all good. I think it's going to take like a week or two um, to get my head back into the rhythm. But I know for a fact that the reaction of me to Actman's video will be out probably tonight. It's only going to take some light editing. Um, not really much going on, um, apart from in like a few points, I can just keep it a straight up edit for the most part. Um, yeah, and then my plan is, is like tomorrow I want to, I want to challenge myself to record and edit a video in a day. So tomorrow I'm just going to wake up, I'm going to record a video, I'm going to edit it as much as possible. But that's not going to be out until Saturday. I'm going to try and get that out on Saturday. Patreons will get it early. So yeah. The React video will go straight up. I'm not going to bother. Um, I'm not going to bother doing that one and being like, Yo, Patreon, I got something for you. I'll, 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 po I'll, I'll post some. I'll, I'll, po I'll, I'll do another shoot on that. Um, yeah. Yeah, that sounds like relatively fair. But yeah, this, the rest of this week is going to basically be relevant. It's going to be nice chill. It'll be nice and chill. I'll be trying to just get myself back into a rhythm. It'll be like this for a week or two. But from next month, I'm going to do a two month. Um, I'm going to start a two month saving campaign to finish, finish, finish the room upgrades, which I've been fighting for since my fucking roommate left. And the hopes are is that once the new beds here, which comes next Thursday, not this Thursday, next Thursday, um, once the new bed's here, then awesome. I've got a nice comfy new bed to sit on. It's not slammed down onto the floor. Means my legs, my knees and stuff won't hurt as much. Um, more comfortable sleep as well because it's actually really, really nice and firm. Cool. Um, uh, then when I get the new desk, um, I should start being more productive. Um, when I get the new chair, which the hopes are is that I can get enough together to get the everything but the chair. Um, but I might, I don't know. And if I want to get the new cha chair, it means more comfort, which means I can do stuff more. The whole plan is I just want to up my productivity and I just want to get a handful more thing, handful of things done. Because I've been fighting for these since my roommate left. And I was just like, I'm done. I, I, I'm done waiting. I need to get them done. That's, that's the plan. But um, yeah, I'm going to be planning out content a bit more. I'm going to probably be integrating some things here and there into streams. Um, planning things. Let's go. Planning and doing. Pl get, having plans and just getting on with them. Let's go see Cal. I haven't seen Cal. I missed Cal. I missed my puppy. My baby, my baby. Yeah, I'm just done waiting around. I'm just done waiting around. At the end of the day, I get it. I, I, at the end of the day, I get it. I gotta be patient. But like, I was patient with my roommate here for four years, four or five years that they were here. That it's in four years I told them to move. Five years that they were here. Um, I was patient with them leaving for so long. I'm just done. Not, I, I'm just done. Um, yeah. How you doing, Buzzkill? You doing good? Your eyes are looking a little crazy. There. You you are you you are looking a bit crazy. What what are you, what what are you looking at, buddy? What, what what you doing there? You good? You good? Oh, I want to see if Twitch will actually be like, we're going to reward people who gift sub. I think they should. Doing good. Got two days of rest, so I'm chilling at the moment. You better be chilling. You better be looking after yourself. Oh, by the way, one of the reasons why I took so much time off is because you guys constantly say to me, you need to put your health first. You need to do all of this. Yeah, now I'm recovering. <laughs> Let's go say hi. Oh, I'm going to stand up. Prepare for thigh. Hmm. <sighs> 
Oh, oh, oh. I fell. Hello. Hello. Hey, Bobby. Hi, Bobby. Hello. Hi. Hi. I'm hungry. Hi. Have you still got some pizza? I'm hungry. You're hungry. <laughs> we can sort that out later. Yeah. You wanna eat? You wanna eat pizza off my butt? Uh. Not on stream. Secrets was less hanging on the ceiling lamp. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm not. I'm not eating them on the stream. What anime did you watch? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. You just kicked me in the face. You just kicked me in the face. Oh, I'm stood still. <laughs> I didn't do anything. <laughs> you playing snakes and laddies? <laughs> I've got no, 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 there's no. nothing in my room no, that no. should be doing it apart from maybe my fucking TV. Have we tried covering it? It's wall mounted high as fuck on the wall. I don't Have we tried covering it? <laughs> <laughs> it's my wife. Yeah, like a rug or something? Or it's, like my, a it's my husband though. It's my mine. I claim them, I peed on them multiple times Ooh. at this point. <laughs> oh, yeah, I farted on you, I'm sorry. I farted on them, I claim that I farted on them. I, I full on, I, 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 I full on you need to, their face. You need to add, and fired. you need to add some fizz bones to your ears so you can just bloop, bloop. Mm, I would, but I, I would do that. I was rigging them, and I ain't got time for that. <laughs> That's not a difficult one, just use a gradient on them. Yeah, again, that involves rigging, and I'm <laughs> Finally, the intense pissing and farting action Twitch needed. <laughs> what the fuck? Excuse me? Oh my god, we should throw shit in there as well. Ugh! <laughs> 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 Can I play with your balls? Oh my god. It's got a, it's got a... Yep. Hello. <laughs> Taking me a few mm. to do any more than 65 kilograms or... <laughs> <laughs> Hello. That was sis. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Check out see this. This is fine. Perky. <laughs> Saggy. Social distancing. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Perky, saggy. Oh wait, I can't grab mine. Perky, saggy. Social distancing. You can't, you can't really do that as well. You can't, you can't really do that as well. Cuddles. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I don't hit my titties with a fucking inflate br brush like you do with every goddamn avatar you do. And I know I have pr I know for a fact that you size them up every update. I I I I have proof that you get make them slightly bigger every time you upload a new version. I don't what do you mean? These are at 60, okay? These are at 60. 
When you started, they were at 40. They were at 100 when I started. I made them smaller. Excuse me, I have you know. They were at 100. I scaled them down because 100 was huge. <laughs> 100 was actually huge. Uni. Unity. Uni boop. Oh god, oh no, mono boob, mono boob, mono boob, mono boob. Is it, oh a, no. is it, a, is, is one boob a titterclops? Oh my god. <laughs> we fucking knew it. No, what do you mean? Uh. I'm trying to get rid of the habit of chewing on my tongue, so I'm try trying a popsicle stick. I uh, just try, um... Or you try chewing gum. Again just for just try chewing oh gum. God, if you end no. up chewing, if you find you chewing all things, try gum. <laughs> when they return to 100. Oh god. If I do like a, if I do a really dummy mum, if if I do a really dummy mummy version, then yes. <laughs> but for now, I don't. <laughs> this isn't yes, a beach. Like this is a bathtub. <laughs> Drums. Dun -dun <gasps> no no no! They have a sexy phone. Ba, 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 ba. Ooh. <laughs> But yeah, try using chewing on gum instead. Yeah, try chewing on gum, you'll probably find it one more effective. Plus it freshens your breath and uh, if you've got a nicotine problem, then it will help you there. Hello! Uh, that I have to go to the dentist anyways because I chipped one See, of my teeth. Katie has a bulge on their avatar that I can play with. I can just flick it. It's really fun. <laughs> <laughs> you were having so much fun with that last night. Don't do it on stream, babe. You will get de you will get taken down for it. It's a private thing. Oh, no! Yeah, well, no! Well, no! Because well, no! Well, no! Well, no! Well, well, no. Well, that's for, that's for Patreon and OnlyFans only. That's so funny. It's for Patreon and OnlyFans only. It's so funny. It's so funny. It's just, just going up and just going. It's so funny. <laughs> for Patreon and OnlyFans only. You might want to sign up because you might get some. You might get a funny oh, gift of it. Just go going. <laughs> I'm generous, I'll put it up for a dollar. He's not down bad, he's downright adorable. Cal, I found your favorite things in the world other than me. I found, I found, I found your side hoe. Oh, my sounding rod's nice, thank you. The drumsticks you found. I mean, hang on, hold up, wait a minute. I know. <laughs> the small end goes into the pee pee. Yes. <laughs> then you work your way up. <laughs> and then you flick for them on occasion. You just tap them yeah. and you're like, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Focus on your studying. Focus on your studying. <laughs> Hi. Oh right, I'm a digital avatar. I can't kick the ball. Eh. 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 One break, so it's fine. <laughs> eh. 
I'm literally like that in real life. I see no difference. This is so immersive. Uh, shit. Uh, shit. Uh, shit. Uh. Is there a side of the hall? How are boob? I mean, you, I'm, uh, uh, me and are both are pretty good. I mean, yeah. I'm fine. My titties have gotten, my titties have gotten so much more attention since I've had an edit. It's great. I haven't just taken it. Yeah. What? What? What's up, Saris? How are you to die? Up to the stream? I'm bored. We've only got like 15 minutes left. I'm tired and I'm hungry. And I've got a lot of editing to do, apparently. I've got a huge video to throw out, which is gonna be like an over an hour long from what I can tell. Yay! <laughs> you just chilling? How was your weekend? Did you, did you have fun? You fun? You good? You good? Yeah, I've been sick. Yeah, I've been uh, I, I um I've been sick for the past few months. Oh, <laughs> Tara, thank you so much for the ten gifted subs. I really appreciate it. Woo. Mwah. Ankle. Buzzkill that is not an issue challenge. That is not a challenge. Do not, do not, do not retaliate. Jake, no. No retaliate. No retaliate. Challenge time. No. No. Thank you, Taris, for the 10 gifted subs. I really do appreciate it. This is, this is, this is I'm not gonna re retaliate. We better not. Looking down makes my frames go funny. But it's not the frames. <laughs> Thank you, Buzzkill, for the tank of the subs. I really appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Jake, thank you so much for the thousand buddies. I really appreciate it. There's no hype train available. There's no hype trains available. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. If anyone says why I'm in this, I just say I just got out of the bath. <laughs> Ayo, why are you making people with OCD mad? Why? What am I doing? The towel doesn't go in the pool. I just got out of the pool. I got out of the pool. What do you mean? I just got out. Towel doesn't go into the pool. Wet, m moisty towel? Moist towel? Moist towel? You mean you don't put, you mean you don't water your bread before you have it? What kind of person are you? You wanna water your bread? You don't walk in the ocean with your socks on? That's disgusting. Are you, are you telling me? Are you telling me? You don't walk in the ocean with socks on. You realize how unhygienic that is? It's like fish and poop and stuff in the water. It's, it's, it's disgusting. Why would you do that to your body?
Don't reflect, you know your crimes. This is confusing my ADHD brain. <laughs> you know I'm right. Water dis seawater is disgusting. Walk use wear socks when go when when go sea walks, yes. Boom, boom. Boom. To be honest, I rather would have socks on. I don't like sand between my toes, so I think socks around the beach would be be better. See, see, Dakota gets it. They get it. No, it's not. Where wearing absorbent clothes and water is is no good. You are wrong. I have support. <laughs> This song's really bog, I like this one. <laughs> Tell that to my swimming teacher, you gotta know how to swim in clothes if you accidentally fall in. True! Okay, give me a minute, I got to think about it. <laughs> that statement. <laughs> you gotta wear socks in the ocean. There's no way to uh, splish, splash. Don't forget, every time someone new subscribes, Nezuko, uh, uh, he doesn't get. He yeah. You keep him away from it. Keep him away. I could change that to like Mario. And Princess Peach. Why is it always a dude chasing a ch Why is it always a dude chasing a chick? And it's just creepy. <laughs> well, I thought about it and I got nothing actually. You're not supposed to wear socks because how heavy they are when they're wet. Yeah, that's it. That's the only excuse. And that's not a valid excuse. Just get stronger feet, Fivehead. Just get stronger feet and legs, and you can carry those socks longer. Or get sea socks, those are a thing. Sea, sea cucumber are a thing, why not sea socks? Mm. I see a bird! Yo, there's a bird down here. I found a bird. There's a bird. I found a bird. Look at the bird. Look at him! Look at the bird! Sea socks! For walking in- uh, I think they're called water socks. Technically that would make swimming easier. Fuzzy. Uh, babe, babe, uh. remember I said I you wanted me to take things slower this week. We started at the same time, didn't we? Yes. Cal just made me stream longer. Because I was going to end in like 10 minutes. Five head. You're going to end in 10 minutes. No, I have I'm a rule. You support, okay? you have an I love you. you. You 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 say you don't do do things. I am helping you recover. I am helping you recover. I love you. I love you too. Let me close down all the stuff I've got to have open uh, hi everyone, how was Cal's stream? I'm pretty sure it was fine. We complained about a copyright abuser on YouTube at the beginning of the video. Go follow me on YouTube over there. Let's do things. Let's go. I love you, and I miss you. Uh. I love you, you stupid idiot. Uh. David. Drink. 
I like I like how you can just grab parts of your David now. <laughs> Me and that one guy who happened to also have a very, very bad review on a particular game about rings that, that are very old. Yes, I'm talking about the dude who had a really shitty take on Elden Ring, who got corrected in a rebuttal video, which then turned into a huge DMCA strike issue, and there's a- yes, I reacted to the, 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 the video, which will be out later. It's a cow! Hey baby. Mm. Oh, you you good? I think you're muted by the way. Voice me and like whistle box it, but I closed it down. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Us Brits are ranting about Americans <clears throat> making tea in the microwave. Oh god. Yeah, that's a thing. That's another thing. That's that's more uh, that's more a, uh, a that's more a crime against humanity. Uh, this du the dude that I'm talking about is something completely different. Apparently, they don't all do it that way. Some of them actually are sophisticated and have a fucking kettle. <laughs> Thank you, Musable, for the twenty months. I really appreciate. It. Mwah. Ooh, I need to sit down. Hey, new beds. New bed soon. Totally didn't fall over. Ignore what you saw. Oh, oh, oh did it arrive? I know. Uh, new bed soon. Oh, okay. Next thur next Thursday. I didn't hear you say soon. Soon. It comes next. Month. It comes next oh. Thursday. My cow. My cow. My puppy. Hi. Mm. Cow's in this happy mm. place. I'm checking my Discord right now, hang on, sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> Meanwhile, others will ask if ov if oven is better than microwave of making tea. My dad had to tell someone off at work, because the way he made tea was he'd fill it half up with milk, put a tea bag in it, fill it up with water, right? Or fill the rest up with water, microwave the shit into it, take it out, pour out half of it, and then fill it, fill the rest up with milk. He says, oh, I like how it's made. I'm like, that's, that's disgusting. And you use the microwave to boil it. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm so glad you raided when you did because my chat was arguing over who was gonna give the most subs and they stopped. <laughs> Funny sub number. <laughs> You're, you, 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 you're welcome. <laughs> yeah, you, 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 you raided, you raided me just after the subs. Been cool. <laughs> okay, I'm just I am fine. I'm feeling a lot better today. I think it was partly, partially down to my sleep schedule was so fucked because of how sick I was, and it was just, it was just making my fatigue way worse. Now I have an alarm. I saw psychotic. How are you doing? It's been a while. Ah, uh, I'm tired and I'm hungry. And all I have tonight is mac and one cheese. Of, one of one of my shorts was in a Nuxtaku video. <laughs> a what video? A Nux video. Um, Nuxtaku. Awesome. They reviewed well. They're they're like a anime. They're, they're like an anituber slash vtuber. Oh. Hi Dakota. <clears throat> no cow. I I told cow to wake me up this morning. I woke up on my own thing. Did my I woke up and actually moved around. And then I went. I'm really tired. I'm gonna lie down for like an hour. And he was like, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you till half past and then I'll wake you up. I'm like, no, you needed to wake me up on the hour because then it gives me an hour to have another coffee. And he didn't wake me up. Oh my god. You didn't tell me. Apparently, it's actually better to wake up 20 minutes past an hour rather than on the hour. For some reason, your brain chemistry 
on the 20 minute 20 and 40 minute mark is just better for waking up compared to on the hour on or on the half an hour I don't know why my my brain is just constantly broken this is fine it's fine it, it's fine I will sit on your face and make it better Oh, you better fart as well. Ah, oh. yeah, yeah. I'll Dutch oven. I want them flakes. I'll, I'll Dutch oven. You don't worry, babe. I want them flakes. Oh. You want the booty flakes? Mm. The burger. Yeah. Oh. Okay. REM sleep cycle. <laughs> if you get awoken in the mid mist, you'll find feel shitty and groggy. Yeah. That's the thing, you can figure out what time, depending on the time you go to bed, depends on what time you need to wake up. Some people, their REM sleep is a, it's roughly a 20-30 minute cycle. It's about a 20 minute cycle to go in and out of REM sleep. You go in and out about seven times in the night. Cow sleepy. Oh. He needs more pizza. He needs a pizza. He needs pizza. I need to eat pizza off of your back while I'm railing you from behind, okay? Dutch oven yes. is actually a cooking utensil. We Dutchies have the idea where the meaning you people use it for come from. A Dutch oven in a, a Dutch oven in the rest around around the world is where you fart in bed and then you pull up the sheets over your partner so they have to smell it. I, I need to order pizza and put the pizza box on your back as I'm just railing you from behind so then I literally just have a table There's a new VTuber that's very I'll, thick I'll put that a drink on there can as well. get even thicker yes, sometimes I'll do that. I will do it, I, I will do it I will interrupt you reading your chat to tell you that I'm aware and we have no idea where it came from I don't know I, I don't know where the whole term of Dutch oven came from. I think I I I, I don't know. I wasn't listening. I was telling you what I'm gonna do to you after stream. <laughs> I I wasn't paying attention. I was reading. Sorry, my brain. My my. Okay, just... then I'll tell you again. I'll tell you for a third time. Bloody hell! What? <laughs> I'll tell you for Jeez. a third time. No. So right, what I'm so what I'm gonna do, right? No, what I'm gonna do cease, is I'm, stop, I'm gonna stop. No, 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 cease. <laughs> no, stop. Uh -huh. You read your chat. Go on. You read your chat. I've read it. I'm up to date. <laughs> my chat. I'm so not I'm as big as you. I don't get the constant chat <laughs> in my chat, I, and I'm recovering. Okay, just say their name. Uh. And I'm not big, re. I'm small. Hey, babe, you've raided me with 80 people, shush. Uh, better fox, don't bother. I'm small. <laughs> I'm so hungry. <laughs> uh, your chat probably heard what I was. <laughs> your chat probably heard what I said. No, probably called but <laughs> so There you go. <laughs> you can just watch the clips back. Uh, probably. I'm too. I, I'm. I'm tired and I'm hungry. I'm sorry. Uh. Oh! 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 He wants. To, I, if I remember right, he wants to me to Jacko pose whilst he rails me from behind and then eats pizza off my ass. Am I right? I'm literally gonna put. I'm literally gonna put a bottle of Coke on your back as a table. You're gonna be my little table. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, we do. A little table, okay. <laughs> I will call you a little table. Little table. You're my little table. Mm. Mm. If anyone wants to draw hentai of that, go ahead. I'm pretty sure Cal will be happy. I want, I want people to draw hentai, but everybody, if there's any, if there's any extremely talented R thirty four artist in your chat right now. Please just draw that image. I will. I will repeat it again for you, sleep, like super slowly, in case there is anybody in there. <laughs> Any talented artist in case chat say I, and then send me your PayPal information. <laughs> As a person who knows most 
most artists don't think they're good, so they won't say I. <laughs> they won't say I because most of them don't okay. realize. Okay, then just DM me your PayPal information. <laughs> It's all about making his pee pee happy. Okay? That's all it is. It's about making his pee pee happy. You make my pee pee happy. You make my pee pee happy. You make my everything happy. Not just my pee pee. Mine. I claimed him. I peed on him. Mine. Mm. We'll see. I'm imagining it. Beta. <laughs> That's what I got. That's what I'm good for now. That's what I'm it's good just for funny now. because yours are huge compared to everyone else's. I go up to David and I do it. I feel like I'm just flipping. I feel like I'm just slapping pancakes. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I can't make them bigger. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It was a fun sight. It was, it was get, you always get. You get. You get a little bit of a giggle from. Cows, you just get mesmerized oh. from. Hey, you're saying good digital artists. You should say digital artists without the good. If there are any digital artists wishing to draw hentai of what Cow will describe, then please go for it. I think Cow will be very happy. I will be more than happy. Yes. He'll make it his. He'll make it his banner on Twitter. There you go. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> adorable puppy. Yeah, David's a puppy. He's adorable. He's your puppy. You can play with his balls. Yeah, no puppy. The little dinglings. <laughs> I'm gonna switch into my snail leopard avatar. I wanna switch into I'm my snail leopard avatar. In case he knows I am, but I only do environment art, concept oh, art now. The color should just get on with it. Snail leopard avatar. I look oh, forward to this artwork. <laughs> <laughs> and it has balls that you can slap around with, it's really funny. <laughs> 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 it's so funny. I feel like you should do that for <laughs> Patreon. I feel like you should do it for Patreon. <laughs> like, there's a new system in VR chat. It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> I mean, this avatar has that too, but. You can pull them apart and everything. I just remember the ramen <laughs> cow just wanted some. I'm, I'm back. Like literally the first day of the. The, the avatar dynamics. But like, don't worry, it's fine. Everyone's just spreading cheeks and whatnot. Then my boyfriend, yeah. trust me, that's, trust, trust me, Cal's my boyfriend, it's, it's fine. I'm aware of what his viewers are like. I'm aware of his Discord and how horny they are. I'm also aware that he's very much a uh, horny magnet for other horny people. Aren't you? Aren't you? I'm sorry. Okay, I can't help it. I just exude mummy energy. It needs, I can't it, help it. Okay. If, if, if you're wondering what pizza, pepperoni with stuffed crust. Cheese stuffed crust. See, that's where you're wrong, because you're the stuffed crust. Oh yeah, you can stuff my crust. Carl's a magnet, but but also someone who goes looking for trouble sometimes. Cal doesn't have filter for brain when it comes word word. So when horny, filter goes down down, and then horny horny more. I saw my chat today. Apparently, I just did. <laughs> <laughs> No, I was literally to my chat like chat. Yeah, you can freeze them, you can my grab them and then I trigger and then and your face looks comfy. Wings. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you could Oh, so that's how you're doing those insane pictures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you almost said this. I need to check my Twitter because apparently <laughs> Bun Bun posted an, in an interesting tweet, and I want to have a look at it.
I hate you can try turn them oh, off. Oh, you can pause them. Yeah, you can turn them off. You can turn them, you, you can pause them and, and stuff. He always makes me, and um, he just enables us. Yes, he does enable him to the point where his mods tell him not to. Cal, 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 Cal is very much a uh, embrace the horny, be happy. But if you're under the age of 18, fuck off. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm looking at I'm looking at Yassi Bunny's Twitter. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I'm okay. Hi. 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 Oh, you. Oh, you. My baby. <laughs> You literally <laughs> told people to go use their toys you're doing, so I thought, yeah, yeah, I'm an enabler though, so's Cal. I tell, I tell people all the time, I, I, I tell people all the time, I need to stop eating so badly. I tell Cal all the time, I need to stop eating bad, and I should stop having pizza, blah, 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 blah. And his response is, go get pizza, go get pizza, and then he'll fucking send me the money to go get pizza. He's an enabler. <laughs> Because he just wants people to be happy. Babe. Yeah. If your left titty, if if your left titty is Halloween and your right titty is Christmas, can I come between the holidays? Yeah. Sure. Oh, oh, oh. There you go. Perky? <laughs> oh god. Perky? Saggy? Social distancing. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's a pineapple on pizza global MO. Oh god, no. No, when did that get added? April Fools. And it's just stayed? <laughs> Fuck. I don't like it. I think so. Make it stop. I don't like that. <laughs> There's a, a universal pineapple pizza. That's haram. I think you mean halal. Oh yeah, so oh yeah, so that tech outfit that I sent you, I'm gonna go look. <laughs> okay. I forgot you got money. Uh, yes. Since I'm um since I'm redoing my avatar for a setup, I'm just gonna go for it. Again. <laughs> same base, same head, same hair, just different outfit. I cry. Katie is a pineapple pizza fan. I'm not overly fond of it. I won't naturally choose it, but if it's available, I won't exactly say no. That's how I will operate. Oh my god, we are gonna get pepperoni pizza. Yeah. We're gonna get pepperoni pizza. Can you get meat feast so I can have Pepe your meat feast after? You didn't understand what babe. I said. Yeah? Babe. Yeah? Babe, I will literally just wrap pizza on my pee and give it to you. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Haram means okay. forbidden. They're babe, saying babe, that babe, pineapple babe, pizza babe. is forbidden. Oh. Babe, babe, oh. Babe. Yes. Babe, babe, babe. What? I'm gonna give you that pizza dick. That, that, that pizza dick. Uh. Yeah, if you give me that pizza dick, I'll, I'll, I'll give you my pepperoni nips. Mm. Oh my god. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. I love you. <laughs> You're extra greasy as well. <laughs> I'm being smacked and I'm being old. Pee pee roni. 
My aunt sometimes makes pizza that has peach on it. It's actually pretty nice. I I, I, I don't know. It's just not for me. My, my The thing is, with, with me and pizza, me and pizza, it's my belief is that pizza's not good. Why the fuck are you trying to make it healthy? Just own it and go as bad as possible. <laughs> I see the cute girl. Yeah, I'm I'm staring at his mm. butt. Hey, Peanut. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> hey, it's a nice view. Anyway, because I'm fucking hungry and I didn't, I, I stayed on longer. I am going to send you guys over to this prick, to whom I love. They are genuinely a nice person. So I'm going to throw you guys over to Smiley. Thank you for the subscriptions. Thank you for the follows. Make sure you follow me on YouTube as well, because I'm going to be putting a video out later from today's stream if you missed it make sure you go subscribe over there if we really appreciate it i'm going to be back on wednesday cow's off i'm streaming tomorrow uh, I'm, I'm recording tomorrow but yeah stay for the raid um and then shower smiling with some love i need food i'm very hungry i'm pretty sure you are as well but i'm sending you to smiley they're playing dommy mummy simulator or dommy mummy runaway game you know which game it is. Um, but yeah, I'm hungry, I'm tired, I'm gonna go do the things oh, that I need to yeah. do. I'm gonna go be adult for an evening. Thank you everyone, thank you for the raid, babe. Um, but yeah, thank you everyone for joining today, thank you for the follows, thank you for the subs, thank you for all the bits as well, I really appreciate it. I'll be back on Wednesday, after I rest and do some other things. Yes, go show Smiley some love and I'll see you guys, uh, next time. Mwah. Bye guys. <laughs> Say goodbye. Uh, but... <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Sorry, brain butted.